Hello everyone and welcome back. We are here on day, this is the end of week seven, I believe. Did what? you know that? This no. is day 35 no. of streaming, uh, five days a week, except one day in there. Had some tooth issues. Anyways, on to the next thing. We're going to be playing through the Carcosa cycle. Steve and I just did a session where we we're building decks for Joe Diamond, who, is on, who I am using, and Jim Culver. And a huge shout out to everyone on chat who helped us build those decks pretty quickly. And I'm very excited about this recommendation. They were recommending I play Joe. They helped me build the deck. Uh, we're playing the Carcosa cycle. We started with Forgotten Age, then we did the core set, then we did Murder at the Excelsior Hotel. The whole time, everyone's saying, you guys have got to play Carcosa. So here we are playing Carcosa. Steven, what's going on? I'm playing Jim. I'm super excited about it. I've not played Jim Culver before. I've always been very intrigued. Also, Ant, because we have some early prototypes of what we're liking for the materials on our Carcosa-inspired oh, boards. I can't see the table yet. I can it's, see the table. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cut to the table shot. We also, uh, Zach shout out content subscribers, I believe, earlier. We just got a truss in place. You can't quite see it. There's a giant now black uh, steel thing moving over the top, which allows us to get this shot. And it, it can be better. It will be better as we, you know, Is Zach it? and I were literally spent an hour from one to two putting this together and getting things set and we got it done but but it's not great uh, so we will adjust that and make it even better as we move along but for now it's here and uh, we can cut to that shot when we need it which we will go to in just a second so it's carcosa i do think that it's uh, regarded as one of the strongest and not the strongest campaign and that's going to be a, a good thing for us because I feel like we've kind of been through the crucible. We went to Forgotten Age first, <laughs> which is regarded a little bit more. Uh, it's it's a little more. It's probably the most infamous. It's infamous. It, it Notoriety just, for that one. It's yeah. divisive, right? Mm -hmm. uh, even we we went through it. If you've never played it, I'm not going to spoil anything. But there's definitely some scenarios late in the game or late in the late in the campaign, which is part of what made it so divisive. Is that you kind of get five or six scenarios in, which is a good... We were 15, 20 hours in, <laughs> and it's just like, bam, surprise. Um, but for good reason. I think there's a lot of people that I heard... I, it's pretty crazy. And about half the people I saw commenting said, this is the best cycle, my favorite. We play it all the time. The other half said, literally, this made people in my group stop playing the game. <laughs> so it, 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 it was all ranges, but Car Car Carcosa, pretty much, I, I've seen no one complain about. Mm -hmm. And it's it's not just like, okay, everyone's okay with it. Everyone's like, no, this is actively good. Um, so, and I think Carcosa is a, a theme that uh, most people probably are interested in. I know very little about the Carcosa theme. I have seen True Detective. Uh, it's just so creepy. That, that helped a little. It's just creepy. So it's not it's not the big monsters. I feel like Dumbwitch explores a lot more of the kind of like classic monster, creepy, grotesque things are coming out of the woods and killing you and that kind of stuff. And it's kind of the Arkham setting that you, you start with. And then Carcosa is kind of like, well, this can get weird. We can get a little more cerebral in our approach to the game. So I'm ready to kick it off if you are. Volantro asking says, hey, great to see you. Good to see you as well. Uh, asking about the Carcosa board, saying it's beautiful. <laughs> when and where do you want my money? We're, we're, we're <laughs> coming around the corner. When you do material testing, so this is a really good example. Can you give me a table shot? Yeah, let's roll that in. So one of the first things Robert did, he saw it for the first time, and I don't know if it'll pick it up. But like right here, you'll see some like scratches and some like uh, stuff going on. And this is a very beautiful like golden board. Um, this but one I can't really scratch. At essentially, all. the finishing on this one allowed for that scratch to like if you scratch it, it could it would actually stay. So that's just one of the the. I mean, we do a ton of testing. Uh, this there, guy. Meantime. A lot of products get thrown against the wall, get <laughs> stepped on, all that kind of stuff. Because um, it's just wanting to see like it, you know if we sell something, we don't want you to have to like replace it three months from now. So. Uh, it goes to that kind of testing, but we're literally trying to get that out as fast as possible. Um, and I'm excited about it because this is crazy. Yeah, you see that this is the Carcosa uh, kind of inspired scene over here with literally Dim Carcosa and all of that with the stars, the Yellow King symbology here. And, and Jonathan went to the oldest uh, books to find these symbols, looked at book spines and short stories and all that kind of stuff. And. Uh, then, uh, you know, t did his own spin on it and, and made it happen. So it, there, it's, it's cruising right along. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll have those up as soon as we can, um, and we'll let you know. I mean, it'll be obvious when it's happening. It's probably the only thing we're going to say for a couple days. And then we didn't have uh, Jim Culver's mini card, so we've got one. I believe this is one of the Circle Undone pre-investigator uh, mini cards. Closest match look. Closest match. It looks like it just a... And I took two arcane research with Jim Culver. That's why I'm starting with two sanity. I just feel like that's an appropriate thing for him to do because you kind of want to start with horror that you can heal with a trumpet if you need to. 
so this is like the arcane research version uh, of Jim. Not a, not a perfect match, but pretty close. And then we've also got, um, if you were in the deck building session, I cut one Chthonian stone and added one ritual candles, because I love ritual candles as an idea. But also because I was running into a situation where if Ellie drops and grabs the Chthonian stone as the relic that she's holding, then I have a free hand slot and nothing to do with it. So I figured one ritual candles can slot in. So a perfect moment would be Ellie grabbing the uh, Chthonian stone, and then I have the candles in one hand and the trumpet in the other. And you gotta love that, yeah, right? Playing That's the, the best thing ever. Hey, La yeah. LaRuca wants to know, it said, saw you waving arcane research in deck building. Did you decide to inc not include it or did you just forget it? I've got them. They're both there. And we can, oh. we, I may not oh, put it in the deck. Oh, we just didn't add it? They're Batman. permanent, so they don't count towards the deck mm, size. Mm. So okay, cool. they're just over here. You just said that. I didn't realize that was a card you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, Velatro, and that, thanks for the kind words. That gives me two mental trauma right off the bat at every start of every scenario. But it's minus one per arcane research to upgrade spells every time. So the first spell's at minus two. Wow. So I can go to shriveling real quick. Like a level four shriveling only cost me two experience. That's amazing. Right? Okay, I get it. Uh, let's see. Jason says, Steven's board looks great. Old brass, all it needs is a patina. Great job, y'all. Thank you. Um, there's a comment coming. Oh, Aaron, I love this. He says, painting my first Sky Terror minions while I'm watching. First time painter here. Wish me luck. Best of luck. That's awesome. Good great. luck. Uh, you'll be glad you did it. Yeah, it's a, I got my little, uh, you guys can see him kind of top down. I got my little ice man right here. Can't really see much, but man, does that look good. <laughs> Woo! All right, uh, also worth pointing out, so I'm, I'm playing Joe Diamond, if you're unfamiliar. He has a cool deck building, uh, he's a hunch deck. And so basically, at the start of the game, hunch. during setup, I get to search my deck for 10 insight cards, or at least 10, plus uh, I have my weakness, which is unsolved case in there. And so what's going to happen is at the start of each turn, I'm going to reveal the top card. And during the turn, I can play it at minus two. I assume if it's the weakness, I have to deal with it. Yeah, um, I think you probably have to draw it which, immediately. Which is a, a bummer. Uh, but that's just going to be happening, and we'll be going from there. Are you ready to... I'm ready. So we, right. we technically would do our hand before we even saw this. Technically, setup, right? we choose investigators, assemble our deck, we choose our difficulty level, and now we're ready to begin at the prologue. Nice, Jared says, what's up, everyone? Just got complete cycles of Dunwich, Carcosa, Forgotten Age. So excited, so overwhelmed, so many cards. Yeah. Been watching this stream too much, I think. That's great. Like, you this just got to dive in. This is going to be helpful. So actually, at this angle, I think it's going to be even more helpful. Just understanding how to run the game and the general idea. Remember, in Arkham, you, a lot of times you don't have a lot of turns. You don't actually have a lot of time. So if you keep that in mind, just know that every test is important and make sure that you're at least two to three over if you can get there. And then sometimes you can't, and sometimes it's time to throw the Hail Marys. And then it's like, well, I'm behind, I'm losing, so let's roll. Just gonna take some tests at plus one and see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, shall we draw our cards and see how all this goes? Yes, indeed. John Christensen says, just signed up for our content memberships. Love the streams you're doing. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank Literally, you so much. this is how this overhead all has happened, and there's a lot more to come. And all these streams in general. Especially once Jonathan and Bryce can get a hold of it and make it great. Yeah, I was Zach thinking. Zach and I made it done. Yeah, we basically, <laughs> we had just enough time. We thought we might be able to get it done by the time we started. We ended up st starting late. Um, Zach and I are the gumption forces. Zach particularly has high gumption, uh, low... Uh, systems, I guess I would say. <laughs> High gumption, low Operate systems. Operate on intuition <laughs> feel, you know? Don't need, need to work it out first. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad we did. I think this, I can see the shot behind the camera is why I'm pointing that way, but I think it looks great. Yeah. I can't see it. On, I'm going to watch this back. I, I did notice one thing, like, so I can see my hands here. That'll be fun because people can kind of see the cards in our hands when they're in this top-down shot. Uh, but obviously, I'm on the right side of the little shot with us in it, mm -hmm. and I'm on the left side of the big shot with our hands in uh, it. Oh, right on, yeah. That I think makes that's sense. A, that's what John was is always concerned yeah. about. So yeah, I, yeah, I thought, yeah. that, if that's something that you notice and it bothers you during this stream, that'd it, be it may be easy enough to flip that shot just perfectly horizontally. Of us. Of us. Yeah. But then it would get it would be maybe a little more awkward. That's hard to say. I don't know. Jonathan, if you're listening, if you're on uh, TeamViewer, feel free to do that. I know you have the 180 pff, swivel that you can do on every, all of the shot layers. So if you want to, go for it. What up, Mike Rudin? He says, what up, guys? Loving the Arkham streams. My fiance and I just finished Forgotten Age, and I was playing Joe. Zach, you're going to dig him. I, I'm glad to hear that. All right. All right. How many do I draw? What? You draw five? We've been playing. Then you have set aside, and then you draw. We've been playing so many different games. Look at this double lucky and premonition in the opening hand. That's great. But I'm going to mulligan them all. That seems lucky. So I'm going to keep shriveling and soothing, uh, not soothing melody. That's not, shouldn't be in my deck. I thought that was the hallowed mirror. So that's important. Hmm. That is important. 
They don't come into play yet. <laughs> Joe says they couldn't find the gym many, so they're using their gym. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, I, I think, is what they say. Okay. How about Contents you... of the chaos bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll lay that out just so you guys can see it. We followed the instructions. Did we do normal, I assume? Yeah, standard, yeah. So we have, it looks like, two zeros. We got three minus ones. Let's just see, the, show them. see the contents. So two zeros, three minus ones. There's a minus three, minus four. There's a minus two. I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to organize them. <laughs> so it's like this. Picture this. We got three skulls because we're going down to Carcosa. That's cool too. Jim's going to love that. A plus one and a superstar. Let's just do this. There it is. So this so, is what's cool about Jim too is if you see, if you look at basically what Jim Culver's bag looks like. <clears throat> what up, Marcos from Portugal? Happy to have you here. Portugal is a cool spot. Zero, uh, are those pieces from the game or custom? Which which pieces are you talking about? Okay, zero, and then the auto fail, of course. John asking, Zach, since you got this crash course from Arkham and, uh, from Steven, will you be playing it in your gaming group as well? The thing about Arkham is I feel like you need a group to play with uh, specifically when you're playing. So Steven is one of my groups. Mm -hmm. I, I am signed up for the, um, the Investigator Starter subscription because I thought that was a good way to get a bunch of player cards without having to buy the whole collection. I, have a, I know a lot of people that own all the cards, so I don't necessarily need to buy the cycles and whatnot. Um, and we'll see. I'm going to start with those starters and, and see what it's like to play the game from there. So if you look at the bag, look at so look at curtain call on easy slash standard. So we don't have any of these symbols in. So none of those minus fours count. So this this scenario card tells you kind of what the tokens mean. And luckily we don't have any of those weird tokens in there. Could we have? I don't know. Is there a world? Is it return to forgot to return to Carcosa that does that? Is it the weird curtain call scenario that does that? We'll see. Uh, but most of the time these are going to be in the minus one slot. So for you, they're minus one, or they could be minus three if you have three or more horror on you. For you, they're zero. They're always zero for me. So like you have seven good pieces? I have seven good pieces. Out of 15? Yep. So you have like almost a 50% chance. 50% chance at getting if zero If you have the minus better. one, like mm -hmm. once you're at minus one, now you're crazy. If you're beating minus two, you're, it's... So any test at plus two right now is great for Jim. Yeah. I mean, I'm almost guaranteed on plus two. And if I have ritual candles, these are also plus one, so that can help me succeed as needed. Nice, nice Bloom says, how many core sets do you think I would need for four players? At least two. I, w I would start with two, and then I would move on. I think it's two, and I, I think you would want definitely two. Especially actually. if you can get your hands on those investigator starters when they come out. And yeah. like, I think that's going to be game-changing, because it's literally you can buy one deck per player, which is wild. All right. Hallowed Mirror. I got the thing I needed. Okay, cool. Shriveling and Mirror. So I'm going to toss three, and basically I'm going to try to see if I can maybe get a uh, get one of those cards that lets me cast my Shriveling for free. Nice. So here's what I got. I'm just going to show it, especially yeah. this first game of this deck. I have a 45 automatic, so all those people worried I wouldn't get a weapon. This is to you. <laughs> uh, I have an emergency cash, which I like. Well, we'll throw them up a little bit. There we go. Here we go. There yeah, it is. Look at go. that. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I guess the cards are probably popping up. Yeah. I also have a backpack. I have a deduction. Mm hmm And I have a vicious blow. Okay. So my thinking is the 45 one that cost me four. I only have five resources. The cash would get me three extra. So I could literally cash backpack automatic. Yeah. Now the backpack could also turn into any card that you would get on your backpack. So it's like in any game, do you really hold your search cards when you could mulligan the search cards for the cards that they would search for? So basically, if it were me at the tightest level, I would do 45 in emergency cash. Uh, if you want to include the backpack, it just depends on like what's the most critical thing that the backpack is going to search for. And do you want to have just a regular shot at getting that in your mulligan and then drawing into the backpack later? Because I could also draw into it. my other backpack. Yeah, you could. Exactly. So let's do this. I'm going to mulligan three. So I'm going to flip three over. We got an Enchanted Blade, a Shortcut. Here you go. And a Beat Cop. Nice. So I'm going to oh, that's nice. Back in. So yeah, you've got Cash, Beat Cop, Blade if you want it first turn, which is nice. That is the dream. Got Olive, Drawn to the Flame, and oh my gosh, got the Uncage. Woo! Guys. Uncage the Soul. So that's going to be an immediate shriveling. That is some economy. Whew. 
fan me. Someone asked me if that was an upgraded deduction. It shouldn't be, but it is. I need the non-upgraded version. Oh, yeah, it does look like an upgraded one. Who needs that? I wish you were running the upgraded deduction. Soon enough. Although, you know what? I found it. I was running it last time, and it did not matter that much. Like, the number of times I needed more than two clues, small. S small. Just because, like, most things have one per investigator. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, there's only two clues on that. Uh, Zero asking earlier about the tokens. Those tokens are the core set tokens. They're just in the coin cases. Um, if you look up our Arkham Horror Buyer's Guide, we link to those coin cases. I think they're on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah, they're great. That's actually why we continue not to do chaos tokens, because it just solves the problem. And the graphic design of the core set's great. So all you got to do is just get them in a nice case, and you're good. Thanks for that clutch blurb <laughs> on the uh, upgraded deductions. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate that. OK, Eagle Eye. now this, you couldn't ask for a better opening hand here. You, you really couldn't. Well, so far, I'm loving Carcosa. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got essentially Uncage the Soul for Shriveling. That's the first action. That's a free Shriveling. Play the Hallowed Mirror, play Olive, and you're basically set for life at that point. So good. Whoo! Man, that gets me amped. I like these colors, too. These are great. The purple color? Yeah. I'm just going to put these. All right. There's my hand. Deck's going to go out of frame. You guys don't need to worry about that. Are you ready for the prologue? Prologue me away. Prologue me away. Carry on. Play me a tune, Mr. Trumpet Man. You turn over the folded program. And there's a little bit to read, so just sit back and enjoy the lucid tones. All right. Of I'm just going to get my the coffee. The Voice of the South, Stephen Woolley. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you the voice of the South. That is absolutely probably the least correct thing that I could be referred to as. I'm the I'm voice of the South. Probably going to have to do that daily. The voice of the panhandle? Like you walk into the office and the voice I'm like, of the well, Northeast. if it isn't the voice <laughs> of the South. You turn over the folded program in your hand, reading it for what seems like the hundredth time. Miskatonic Playhouse presents The King in Yellow, it reads. A special one night engagement at Arkham's very own Ward Theater. An irresistible mm. drama in two acts. Production stage and directed by Nigel Ingram. The Nigel. cast is a small ensemble with one unattributed credit at the end to The Stranger. Hmm. Peculiar. To have such a highly anticipated play come to Arkham all the way from Paris is a noteworthy event, even if it's just for one night. For weeks leading up to the show, it was the talk of the town. It seems so unassuming, and yet you have evidence something sinister is at work. It started with the disappearance of one of the stagehands at the theater, a boy of only 17 who missed rehearsal one night and was never seen again. Then, less than two weeks before the performance, there was the musician whose corpse was found with a gun in its mouth. Perhaps most chilling was the crazed man the coppers had picked up in Independent Square, who'd been ranting and raving about the King's return. He was brought to Arkham Asylum, and you were surprised to discover that he was not alone in his delusions. I don't like them killing musicians, let me tell you. <laughs> Finding these events suspicious, you and your companions have delved deeper into the matter. Although no connection can be proven, these weren't the only strange events surrounding the up-and-coming play. Instances of suicide and madness have followed in its wake, and you are determined to discover why. The lights in the auditorium dim, and a spotlight shines on the stage. What unfolds is not quite what you expected. Slow-paced and monotonous, the first act of The King in Yellow is a tedious bore, the setting and characters are compelling, but the meandering and nonsensical story does little to entertain or inform. You begin to wonder whether the dreadful events surrounding the King in Yellow aren't connected, after all. Perhaps it was just your overactive imagination. How could such a trivial and unassuming show cause such pandemonium? You're surprised when the first act closes without any rising action or revelation. The lights rise for the intermission. You consider leaving early, stifling a yawn. But before you're able to decide, you find yourself drifting drifting to sleep. If Lola Hayes is in the campaign, we proceed to Lola's prologue. Otherwise, we proceed to Curtain Call. So that's pretty cool. So she has a little side prologue. That's cool. And she starts in a different place if Lola's in your game. Because she's, uh, she's an actress. So scenario one, Curtain Call. So we've got the scenario card here, and we've laid it all out. You awaken with a start as though shaken by an unseen force. You must have slept for quite some time, for there's only a few other patrons in the audience and no performers on stage. The lights are dimmed and the stage curtains are tattered and ripped, though you do not remember that being the case during the first act. You wait a moment before you're sure this isn't part of the performance. As you wait, a foul but unrecognizable smell permeates the air. 
How long have you been asleep? Shaking off your drowsiness, you walk toward one of the seated patrons and ask for the time, but he does not respond. It is then that you realize you're speaking to a corpse. Terrifying. Here we go. <laughs> Lord Hoster says, you'll regret falling asleep in my play. <laughs> All right, let me grab chat here so I right. can get on I'm with read you guys. The theater text must have been one hell of an intermission. <laughs> we got the agenda here, so encore is not right. The third act, agenda 1A. The theater is eerily silent. The old wooden floor creaks beneath your feet, and a light rain gently patters on the roof as you explore the auditorium. Mm, I love it. There are more rotting corpses among the seats, and the rest of the crowd has vanished. Now that's just weird. That's unlike any play I've ever been to, let me tell you. No corpses at the last play I went to. I think something's a little bit awkward about this play, Zach, if I'm not mistaken. It Act does seem a little strange. Act 1A, The Awakening. You pinch yourself to see if you're dreaming, and sure enough, your skin stings and reddens. <laughs> you take a few deep breaths and try to think rationally. Whatever's going on, you must explore the theater to learn the truth of the matter. Six clues to advance. Six doom to advance. You may flood the theater. We have our custom yellow uh, King Carcosa doom tokens. That uh, symbology pulled from the actual text uh, itself. This is one of the actual early prototypes. This is the one that we couldn't uh, sell because we found out that that was copyrighted. You know why? Because we asked. And you know who didn't ask? Most everybody else Everyone making else who everything in this, in this universe. Very so, cool about that. Yeah, we've got some old school... Um, I so these are, these are the old school ones. I've got some prototypes and some real ones, so we'll use the proto or the real ones while we got them. Okay, so huh. that's out of there. Yeah, I think Modiphius has that. They did the Call of Cthulhu uh, nice. role-playing game. Very it actually cool. comes from them. That lo the way that particular yep. way people use it. And then people yeah. just started picking it up. All right, I'm going to flip the theater. You ready? Yep. Or Chaosium, as you guys it. Yeah. All in flavor text. It says, To say that the theater is in disarray would be a profound understatement. The walls and seats, previously polished to a shine, are cracked and caked with dirt. The curtains are tattered and the set is stained with old blood. You aren't sure what's worse, the smell of rot or the nagging feeling that you've been asleep for a very long time. Ugh, gross. Okay, two shrouds. So theater yeah. leads to the lobby and the backstage. I'm going to flip it so it matches the icons. If okay. you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. And then it looks like... we got the balcony. Can we go can't, up can't the... get to the balcony unless we go to the lobby. Lobby goes Which to the balcony. Which is how you would expect a theater Yeah, we're in the be. theater. We're going to go to the lobby, take the elevator up, go to the balcony. Yeah. All right, well... Uh, let me, beginning of the turn, I'm going to flip this uh, Flip your hunch, Doug. The scene of the crime. Play only as my first action. I can discover a clue at my location. Two clues instead if there's an enemy at that location. Man, that would be sweet. It would be sweet if I had a fast card that would let me move, wouldn't it? Oh, my gosh. You do. A shortcut. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Uh, Stallhard on YouTube is one of the funniest comments that I've seen in a long time. I, I totally understand that humor. Uh, I can't read it because it's just impossible to read, but it's so funny. It's so funny. So continue being funny, please. All right, who wants to go first? And who's the lead investigator? Is it Jim or is it Joe? Jim and Joe. The Jays. I like the I like the idea of us going to the theater too, just hanging, just BFF. <laughs> These guys look like they go to a theater. Yeah, we're having a good time. Um, how about I'll be lead investigator this time around? All right. Now, we can go in any, any <coughs> order, but lead investigator might make some choices. You got it. I feel like I should probably reveal somewhere that we're sure has a clue so you can go scene of the crime it. I like right? it. Because so, a fast action is not my first action, right? That's correct. So I can fast action over, play that for free, because I'm, I'm Joe Diamond. You're Joe Diamond. It's the scene of the crime. That's going to be my shtick, by the way. He just says his own name. Because I'm Joe Diamond. <laughs> I'm Joe Diamond. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play Uncage the Soul. Play a spell or ritual, reducing its cost by three to get shriveling out. Come on. No money, no money, no whammies, you no baddies. You have two of each of those in your deck? You, yes. All you right. guys convinced me to do that. I would never have done that if I were building this on my own. And yet... Here we are. Here we are. I'll put shriveling over here in my left hand. Uh, second action, more clues are backstage than in the lobby, right? Surely. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, sure. If you go backstage and it's wrong, then that means I can go to the lobby and try to... Actually, wait. This is the only way to get to the back balcony, right? Technically. I guess that goes down to there. Yeah, you can always jump from the balcony down to the theater, but you can't I jump from that. the theater up to the balcony. Interesting. All right. Um, let's say... Uh, Gotta thank make you. some of those Fortune. connectors. Let's say uh, backstage. So second action, let's go backstage. What does that say there? The set is different. What is it? The set is different from what you remember of the play's first act. 
De decorated with the backdrop of an unsettling sunset. Okay, well, let's go through. <laughs> backstage. One clue, exactly. One clue, three shroud. Force from backstage is revealed. Put two of the set aside backstage doorway locations into play at random. While you're at a backstage, each hidden treachery in your hand counts as three cards instead of one for the purposes of counting your hand size. Ugh. Don't have any hidden treacheries. Don't either. And I'm going to guess it's going to happen. Choose one to not have. Okay. So these go into play. Yeah. And they are moons, so they are backstage doorways over here. You with me? I'm with you. So that was my second action. So my third action, I'm actually just going to play. Um, I'm going to play my Hallowed Mirror as my uh, third action. So it's going to cost me two. Nice. And what's that essentially do? So you get to shuffle it three cards in. Yeah. So I'll I get to get here. these soothing melodies. I put one into my hand, and then I shuffle the other two into my deck. All right. And that is a heal two or heal two, heal two damage or two horror How and good draw is a that? card. How good is that with your I two? I start with horror. two. Well, mm. hey, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It's great. It's <clears throat> great. All right. And then, so then you, you know that's the scene of the crime. All right. So I feel like it's better, though. I guess it is good to just slide over there and get the clue for free. I. Anytime you say those two things together, you should probably Because be there's no it. enemy. Yeah. All right, first thing. Fast. It's a shortcut. Play only during my turn. Choose an investigator at my location. Move that investigator to a connecting location. That's me. Then, as my first action, off of my uh, hunch, hunch deck, deck yeah. I'm going to play Scene of the Crime. Now, does this go to my discard pile? Yes, because you're normal discard right. pile. Yeah. Uh, scene of the Crime. It's minus two because I'm playing it for my hunch deck. Discover a clue at my location. How about that? Boom. And then for my next action, let's go ahead and do the most important thing. So you things. got two actions left, huh? Yep. I'm going to play an emergency cash for three cash. And then I'm going to play an enchanted blade. In case we get in a scrum, I want to be able to fight. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready to shrivel, and I've got a mirror too, just in case you feeling frisky. All right, and then that'll be the end of my turn. It, it doesn't require an enemy. It says you get two. If, if there's an enemy there, you get two clues. Otherwise, you get one, which I like. All right, all done? Flip the mini card? Yep. OK. And then we do the good stuff, because there's no enemies. Draw a card, gain a resource. I like the sound of all this. And then we go up to now we start the bad things. One on the agenda. And let's go ahead and make sure this is nice and shuffled. Hmm. New cards are fun. New cards, man. I also love the hand cam here. I think that's super useful. Yeah, you can take a look. Hey, check it out. This Here's is what my I hand. drew, if you know what it is. Okay. Uh, Acolo a, a to. Curious how he's able to have a 3 XP sword in play from the it's start. It's not the upgraded version. Uh, if the card popped up, that was the wrong card. So it's the, mine's the standard Enchanted Blade. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Added the Doom. I'll take the first card. You take the second card. Ready for some action? Ooh. Test three brain for each point I fail by. Uh, I'm going to some help. take a horror. I'm at a four... I'm pretty okay. I'm going to go to a five. And, and you got all the skulls I'm, that I'm are at good. plus two, yeah. I got an extra Olive McBride, so I can commit Olive as a skill icon. So one. So I'm currently a five from Jim Culver's stat. Skulls count as zero. Auto fail. However, an auto fail means that I take three. So good news, bears. I have a soothing melody. Five horror. <laughs> yep. Capiche. Thank you, Tentacle. All right. Uh, mine? Yeah. I like you resolving this first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Revelation. Oh, this is perfect. Put dissonant voices into play in your threat area. You cannot play assets or events. At the end of the round, discard dissonant voices. Can't play assets or events. That's fine. Just do some moving around. I'm not scared. You scared? I had a plan. <laughs> My plan. Okay, so now we go to our stuff. So these flip. Mm -hmm. This flips. Mm -hmm. What's your hunch this time around? 
preposterous sketches. Yes. Play only if there's a clue at your location, draw three. But it's an event, so I can't play it. You can't play it. It's done. Okay. So now the next the next. Well, you gotta you gotta clean some horror. I'm gonna do that. So and that's then, gonna be one action. I feel for like sure. we went down this pathway, so you may as well start exploring. Yeah. Let's start with the soothing melody. You've been hit by Heal to Horror. And then draw a card. All right. Seems good. Okay. Okay. Second action. Let's go backstage further. How about this one? A simple wooden door. No big deal. One clue per investigator, one shroud. Forced after you succeed. This is the rehearsal room. After you succeed by two or more while investigating the rehearsal room, take a horror. Okay, don't succeed Victor by two or more. Victory one, though. Oh, you know it's happening. And the flavor text says, as you enter this room, silently confronting you is a giant symbol torn into the wallpaper. You cannot tell whether the wall was deliberately vandalized or the material peeled away in the strange pattern on its own. Okay, so... See you, Jan. I'm going to do... I'm going to do a... Uh, I'm gonna do a weird, a weird thing here, because I'm feeling frisky right now, man. All right, we're only on the first scenario, so if it goes horribly, guess what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw Olive out. Olive's coming in. That, that's smart, because she can soak horror if I need yeah, to. Yeah, that's good. But I should be able to take care of those clues without worrying about a single thing. All right, and that's Olive McBride. That's Olive McBride, yeah. Well, I can't play assets. I can't play events. It's time to go, go cruising. What can you do? I'm gonna move. We're gonna move to this backstage doorway. It says the same thing, a simple wooden door leads into the back of the theater, far from the prying eyes of patrons. Four shroud. Oh good, I'm glad we went to the right one. Zero ones. clues. <gasps> and you can take three actions and heal three horror. Well that's handy to know. Now well, if we have to spend time to do that, I feel like we're losing we're losing already, but I like that it's there. It'd be very handy for me to get there, but it's like two turns to get there and then to heal all three. Yeah. Crazy. But it's there. So then I have uh, two actions left. I can't play. I can't. Uh, I think I'm just going to mo start moving back. I think so, yeah. So I'm going to move to the backstage and then move to the theater, third action. All right, done. Then end of the turn, this is still here, so I'm going to shuffle this back in. Right on. Do you shuffle it in or do you discard it? I think you shuffle it. It says. Yeah, we'll, we'll eventually zoom out on the overhead to give us, uh, ourselves a little more space, too. <clears throat> uh... Zach and I had to just downtown this one. Until the end of the phase. If it's still revealed at the end of the phase, shuffle it back into the hunch deck. So yeah, I shuffle okay, back. Okay, nice. In. It's easy enough. Yeah, we, we set up this truss and the, got the cameras up there as quickly as we could and then started the stream a little bit late mm -hmm. uh, because of that, but we'll be t honing and, and fine-tuning that over the next couple of weeks. Okay, so no enemies. So we get to ready everything. Sleeker's mobile, awesome to hear. He says, got a second ran above. He's, the picture in picture is amazing. It's an amazing upgrade. Good job. Ooh. Well, hey, it, it wouldn't be possible without all you out there. So thanks for buying stuff from us, subscribing, and being content members. It means the world. All right, so everyone readies. We draw a card and gain a resource. Another soothing melody, man. You've been hit by. Who needs that healing on that location when I've got it in my hand? Hallowed Mirror is the MVP already. See, one of us can work. One ofs can work. All you gotta do is draw them. <laughs> All right, here's for the bad cards. Here's for the bad cards. One bad thing happens, two bad things happen, three bad thing happens. Oh no, another rotting remains. The exact same test. And my dissonant voice is, end of the round? When is the end of the round? Yeah, it's already happened. Yeah. So all the bad stuff happens at the start of the round. All right, rotting remains. Let me resolve this one first. So All it's right. a test of three. For each point you fail by, take a horror. Now, I can all of this and reveal three chaos tokens and choose two to resolve. And I'm one up on this test. I think I'm going to go two up on the test. Because I've got two drawn to flames. I can go two up on the test, use olive, and have a really good shot. But worst case scenario, I just lose three. Now I'm just gonna take it. Uh oh, lost one. Don't mind me. I'll have to pull it. 
Oh, it's a skull. Jim says it's a zero. Playing my trumpet. Rotting remains. I don't <laughs> care. Don't care. Man, that feels good. Hitting zeros on skulls, yeah. I that feel feels like, good I in feel this like game. you should love him. I absolutely love him. Because you love chaos bag control. I love consistency. So between him and premonition, you're just doing your dance. I love consistency. Um, so then I get my bad card. Spires of Carcosa. Okay. Revelation. Attached to your location, then place two doom on that location. If there's no doom on the attached location, discard Spires of Carcosa. I can take an action to investigate. If I succeed, instead of discovering clues here, I remove a doom from location. So this actually is going to come in onto the theater with two doom. Oh, no. And then basically we can investigate. If we succeed, mm -hmm. we get rid of a doom, and it goes. It, once Good. it's out, it goes away. I'm glad you weren't sitting in the dressing room at Four Shroud. There's a heads-up ball play there, Joey Diamond. Heads-up ball play. All right, so then we get back to our turn, right? Mm -hmm. Beginning of the turn, I'm going to flip a card here. I have uh, Delay the Inevitable. What's that one do? Fast play lender in your turn, attached to an investigator at your location, under his or her control. Fast action, when you are dealt damage or horror, discard this and cancel all damage or horror. Just so dealt. you can just pop that right onto you for free. You bet. Wow, good job, Joey Diamond. That is an awesome hunch deck. Ain't Joe, I am <laughs> Joe Diamond. Okay. I'm I, loving this. Uh, I could introduce some, some variables that we're not ready for because I'm going to play Drawn to the Flame. So let me go first. First action, I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Soothing Melody, it's a card draw anyway. I'm going to remove wow. two more horror. Because I've got a trumpet and I'm playing my soothing melodies. And I'm looking at myself <laughs> with my mirror. This is probably not what you guys signed up for. We're just really amped to get this truss up. It's been like a long time coming. <laughs> Everybody's jacked. Mm. Deleted Inevitable says, when the mythos, I forgot, I didn't read this part. Forced, <laughs> when the mythos phase ends, you must either spend your resources or discard it. OK, cool. So, so it's I, a little, won't, I won't be doing that. A little controlly. Okay, so that was my first action. My second action, I will be playing Drawn to the Flame. I'm going to draw the top card of the encounter deck. Frozen in Fear. The first time I perform a move, fight, or evade, it costs one additional. I test three to remove it. And then I discover two clues automatically. So wow. I don't take horror for overshooting. Do you test now? No, that's the end of my turn that I will test that. So I have one action left, and Frozen in Fear means I can't do anything with it. And because that's the case, I'm going to have to draw myself a card and then do the test. Huh. Ooh, nice. OK, and then I'm going to test three brain. You know, I feel like Olive increases my chances here. Do you guys know the math on this? What I think it? Olive increases my chances. Reveal three, resolve two versus reveal one. So you, one, you have about a 55% chance of hitting a bad card or a bad token. Okay, hold, hold. If you're just doing one token. Yep. If you're doing three, the what you need is basically two of them to be good, right? And I'm at plus one over the test. So, so the thing about it is, let, let's say you draw, you're drawing three, and you're going to resolve two of them, right? And let's say one is good and one is bad, because 50% chance at any, right? At either. If I have 50% chance at zero or better, or 50% chance at minus one or worse, and I resolve, or I choose three, one of those will be under zero, one of them will be over zero. So what's the third one going to be? What are the odds? 50-50. 50-50. So it, it shouldn't increase the chances at all, then. Am I right? The main thing is that like you can have minus ones, right? Minus ones are okay for you right now? Minus ones are okay for me right so now. So that actually puts you at like 66% chance on everything. Let's go Olive. Is that true? Can you really not heal? Um, I'm pretty certain you can heal mental trauma. Yeah, it just comes back. All right, so here's three tokens. <laughs> minus one superstar and a minus three. That seems good. <laughs> <laughs> My superstar effect. Anytime I reveal it, I can choose to instead treat it as a skull token. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, or I can just take the minus one. So I'll take that. Frozen and Fear is resolved successfully. Now, the reason I would do that is when I have my trumpet out, a skull heals one horror. So actually, you could hit multiple skulls. That would be sick. And I could heal a bunch of horror. Maybe you could probably only trigger it once. I don't know. I'll find out. Find out when I get there. Over to you. All right. I was drawn to the flame in the rehearsal room.
Yeah, it's just horror. Random. Otherwise, well, that's a scary play. I think I want to get this off the table immediately. Yeah, if you can do it. I'm just going to have to investigate twice. You got any magnifying glasses or nope. Dr. Christopher? But I'm, a, I'm ahead by two, and failing doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start there if I can get rid of it, and okay. then I'll play a different card. I'm in. I'm in. All right, first thing, I'm going to investigate uh, using the Spires of Carcosa action. Plus got one. It. So I take a Doom off. Whee! And I'll do it again. And toss the tokens in this general area. Minus one. We got it. Whee! So then it goes away. Whee! And then I'm going to play a card just as a protection. I'm going to play a Beat Cop. So that's going to give me plus one attack, and he can fast action, discard beat cop, deal a damage to an enemy at my location. I'll eventually upgrade him. I can't. No, you no. can't. Why, why, uh, am I zero to two? two. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a level two. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, oh. I thought it was the advanced one because that's what I was using in at Excelsior. Yep. Not as good. This is a good space for you too. Why don't you explore this space? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we can also, like, I can do this. Oh, ugh, ugh. That makes me uncomfortable. Hold on. You done? This is the thing I'm doing. Oh, now, now you're getting somewhere. So you can still see what this is. Okay, I like that actually. That's that's yeah. a good place for your And I'm, I'm agreeing with chat. This is, I'm gonna change after this game. The Delay the Inevitable I think is better in the deck than it is in. Yeah, so you can play it when you need it. Mm -hmm. But at zero cost fast, it's gonna save your bacon once. Yeah. Exactly one time. No enemies, so we go to the good stuff. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Uh oh, got a weakness. Draw a card, gain a resource. Someone says uh, find two clues, actually. Nope. All right. Not true. Okay, hypochondria. Add it to my threat area. After I take one or more damage, take one direct horror. And I can discard it for two actions. Gross. Huh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's actually true. This is how I was doing it earlier. You want to play sideways? I think I can handle this. I so, guess. That's a lot of stuff on the table. I'm going to go back. Ah. I'm going back. We're just exploring this board and what's going on here. I'll see what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to actually count down from right to left. And then we can still see it. Because this is just, yeah, there we go. Now we've got... Now we've got nothing but space on my side. Technically, if we do this, and I, yeah, and that might expand. Yeah, there you go. Then I can have another slot here. We got some. We got some moments. Okay, so I got hypochondria. You drew your card. We gained the money. Yep. All right, end of the turn. Where's the, the money, round. Lebowski? And we've got one. I'm gonna on. shuffle this back in. I've got a bad. Got a bad. And you flip at the top of the investigator phase yeah. on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bad card first. Bad card is Dissonant Voices. Ugh. Can't play assets or events. I didn't intend to do that anyway. Mine is Descent into Madness. Very cool art. Surge, revelation if I have at least three horror on it. Lose an action. I don't, but it's got Surge. Woo. Black Stars Rise. Test four book. If I fail, I must either place a Doom on the current agenda or take a horror for each point I fail by. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. So I'm testing four book. I have a four book. And we're going. We're going in. What is that? What Hot. is? What did that hunch? When did that hunch card get discarded? It's at the end of the phase. The end of the mythos the phase. Investigation phase. Really? Yep. Hmm. Hmm. That's why that one card's bad. During it's not. It can't help me during the enemy phase. Well, There's if you pay two to keep it around, it but could. I have to like pre invest Save you four damage right here. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Plus one. Don't even beat it by it. one. Gross. All right. It is that is a good point. You could have played it on your turn just to get it out of your deck and in your discard pile if you don't want to see it again. Ah, uh, that's exactly that's what reasonable. I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll play it and then it'll go away because I'm not going to pay for it at the end of the mythos phase. Dude, it says when the mythos phase ends. That's this phase. Yeah. Yeah. So you can play it for free and then if you don't use it during this phase, you can either pay to no. keep it or. The mythos phase, the phase we just had, it stays around all the way until the end of the bad guy phase, and then it goes away. But I have to play it during the investigator phase. Yeah, and fast then, and free. Yeah, then we get to the mythos phase here. Right. It resolves, then it goes away. Yes. 
which means it's not at the end of the investigator phase. You don't have to pay to have it totally. deal with enemy cards. Yeah. I, so I, you always play it for free, and then you have a mythos phase where whatever the deck does to you doesn't, it can't do damage. That's exactly what it's doing. That's incredible. All right. Here's, somebody said not to put that in the hunch deck? What is wrong with you? Anyway. Okay. So um, now we go back up to the, uh, the bad stuff, or the, the good stuff. Yeah, we're back to good stuff. It's us. We're the good, we're the good stuff now. I say you should lead the charge. How many clues we got? Three? Where are these clues supposed to be? I guess they're in the balcony of the lobby, huh? Well, we went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let me, let me move into that lobby. Whee! Through the tall glass doors leading into the lobby, you can see that the room isn't nearly as dilapidated as the auditorium. Signs promoting the king in yellow taunt you from inside. There's one clue. Be foreshadowed. Gross. Oh, and we got the lobby doorways, too. OK, I see. So I'm just going to yeah, put... Can, you can slide back if you want. These guys, we're not going to go back to. Yeah, I'm into that. You're up here, though, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll get out of there soon. Look at that. I bet that makes some people uncomfortable. This is floor one. <clears throat> floor one, and the balcony is up here. In between these two, technically, because you can jump down from there. Whee! And then we put the two. But it does have the double action draw three, which could be fun for someone. Depends on if you want your weakness or not. <laughs> the wide doors that led to the streets of Arkham are somehow gone, as if they were never there. Choose one not to have. This one. Lobby bar. Uh, lobby doorway one, lobby doorway two. It's right there in the lobby. Actually, hold on. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm going to go in the doorway. I think so. Let's go in lobby doorway A. It says an ornate wooden door leads into the one of the front areas of the theater. Wait, what's your hunch deck? Oh, yeah. Because you might be able to snap this clue. No stone in turn. Choose to investigate your location. That investigator searches the top six cards of his or her deck, draws it, and shuffles the deck. <sighs> I don't need that yet. <laughs> Flipping it's it over. so good. Green room. It's a five shroud with one clue per investigator. You can take an action to investigate. You get plus three book for this investigation. If this skill test ends, discard each card in your hand. Hmm. The green room is supposed to be a relaxing lounge for tense performers, but you imagine anyone trying to find a moment's rest in this cluttered pigsty would come up shortchanged. So you can always just investigate it normally without using this ability if mm -hmm. you want to. Mm -hmm. But you'd have to have some big dad shroud on that one. This should be gone. No, wait. No, it shouldn't. I wish it was... All right, so what was your move there? Move one, move one? Yeah, I'm going to actually play this card for free. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to look at the top six. You playing no Search stone unturned? Six. No stone unturned. And then I get to put one in my hand. Make good choices. This is a good card. All right, I'm going to put this in my hand. You can see it. Deduction. Deduction. Yeah, nice. And then... Actually, if, you're, if you have a... That was my third action. Huh. You got a wild hair to just hit that green room at plus two with that deduction. Put you at a six to its five. Plus two? Yeah, so you don't have to use the invest. You can use a standard investigate, or you can use the investigate where you get plus three and discard your hand. Yeah. So if you just do a standard investigate, you're at four. You get a plus two from that deduction that you just put in your hand. So now you're at six to its five. And if you succeed, you get an extra clue. It's only a plus one from deduction. Ah, okay. I must be the upgraded. That's a plus two. That was my turn. Okay. Uh, Joe out. I hate hypochondria. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm so with gross. you, Alex. Uh, he's saying stay there for next turn because I might get my other just grab a clue card, which I agree with. Yeah, it's possible. Thanks, John. Great to see you. So we're currently at three clues. So if we get clues on the table right now, we got it. Also, I can get these two clues without thinking about it. All right. If unless I get a really free action that just grabs yeah. one. Because you might check out this lobby door. We now something uh -huh. tells me it's going to heal three damage, but then again, it was randomized, so we never know. Yeah. 
I'm awesome. gonna come. I'm gonna come your way because yeah. I can't play assets or events. So one, two, three. I'm with it. Nothing like a three-move turn really make you feel awesome. Gets the money. All right, draws money the and a card. card. It's like what's going on? It's just a theater. Ready everything? Yep. End of the round. This dissonant voices goes away. Give me the bad card. I don't think hypochondria is going to matter. Four of six on the agenda here. Bad card for me, bad card for you. Starting with Steven. The King's Edict for each cultist enemy in play, do things. There are no cultist enemies in play. And that means I gain Surge. That's actually mine. Oh, whoop. Swarm of rats. <laughs> Get shriveled, rats. All right, mine. You ready? Ready. Frozen in fear. Put frozen in fear in play in my threat area. The first time I perform one of the following actions, move, fight, or evade each round. It costs an additional action. Of course it does. At the end of my turn, test three brain. If I succeed, discard frozen in fear. Must succeed. Jim's got a three punch. That's pretty impressive for these rats. Uh, then we, it's our turn. It's our turn. I'm going to flip this over. Preposterous sketches. Play only if there's a clue at my location. Draw three cards. Well, that's handy. It doesn't seem good. All right, so my plan is to punch these rats, Yep. move to the green room, and grab two clues. Do it. You happy with that? Yep. All right, first step, punch these rats. Punch these rats. Get them. Three to their one. That's a zero. Welcome to Jim. The old, the old rat puncher. <laughs> Second action move. <laughs> uh, third action, we're going to draw to the flame again. Get two clues. Wow. Draw wow. top card of the encounter deck. Wow. <laughs> King's Edict doesn't matter. Grab another card. Another swarm of rats to end the turn. And then uh, two clues. Oop, from you're not, the you're not worried about those rats. Well, they'll attack me. You can, can you punch them? Do you have a frozen in fear? Does that matter? If I attack, well, I'm going to get rid of it, though. Move, fight, or evade. Ooh. Cost one additional. So the rats will do one damage to me, which means I'll take a direct horror from the hypochondria. How about we do this? That's not terrible. It's better than spending two actions on a punch. Let's do this. I'm going to play Logical Reasoning for two. What's that team? Uh, play when I have only if I have at least one clue. I do. Choose an investigator at my location, me. That investigator either heals to horror or discards a terror card from his or her threat area. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't want to deal with it. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm <laughs> going to play Preposterous Sketches for free from mm -hmm. my hunch deck. And then I'm going to max hand size is eight. Is that right? Yes. You can't swing at these rats with That's that blade. exactly what I'm going to do. You don't even have to use a charge, right? Not going to. Nope. So I have plus two fight, so I'm at a six to the rat's one. Only thing... He uses plus one, yeah? Well, he gives me plus one. Oh, and you got the beat cop. That's right. Sphere at a six to its one. There's only one token, and we dare not say its name. Minus two. It's rats gone. are gone. Thank you. You're just welcome. a little... Whoop. It's not enchanted at all. It's just a sword. All right. And... <laughs> Move along. One resource and a card. And if I have nine cards here, I have to discard one. That's right. What a terrible problem to have. Resource. One card. Oh, can't draw the cards. No clue. Draw what cards? From Preposterous Sketches. I took the clues off of your location. Oh. Sorry. You could, we could have you move to the lobby and then do it anyway. And then I just take the rats. No, that's fine. If we want to reverse it correctly. That was the card I just drew. Then I need to... I have these, and this, and this, and these. Okay. So that would have been the card I drew at the end of the round. And this gets shuffled back in. Right on. Fixed. I'm in. Everything ready is here. What up, Leon? Gain of money, and draw a card, which I did. All right, then start of the phase, I get one of these? Yep. Is it the start of the investigator phase? What does it say? Start when the investigation phase begins. So you don't see that yet. We're oh. about to do the Oh, we haven't the bad cards yet. So one on. It's at five out of six. One for me, one for you. That's going to be a great hunch card, by the way. That's absolutely perfect. Spires, 
two doom, it's not going to advance, but it will have two doom on it. Mm -hmm. And that means when it does advance, it'll wipe that doom if we just want to let it happen. But Black stars rise. Test four book. If I fail, I must either place a doom on the current agenda or take a horror for each point I fail by. This can advance the agenda. Oh, no. Well, you're going to take the horror then, huh? Why would, or, would he... or just don't fail. Yeah, do you, four uh, how books? many choices do you have? Because I can premonition this if it's helpful. How many choices? Like how many buffs could you possibly do to beat it? Do you want to see the token before you apply your skill cards? I have no buffs. Okay, well then it won't matter at all. Good luck. Four to four. Best Here we go. Luck. Skull. Minus one. Minus one, so I'll take a horror. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right. That guy goes. And... Did I... What was my bad card? Oh, it was the Spires. That's right. Okay, so not going to advance. Everything's cool. Your hunch deck flips up at the start of the investigator phase. And it's working a hunch. Fast pony during a turn. Discover a clue at your location. Ooh. Ooh, that lobby's begging for it. Then we yep. can advance the act. Yep. All right. You want me to go first? I think so. Let's let's have Ego get that clue and then advance it with five actions left. All right. Here's here's well, I technically have a Hawkeye folding camera. Mmm, that's tempting. So I can play it, move, yeah. play this, get the clue, get the. And that's a fast action, yeah. Ooh, then I still. So Hawkeye move, advance the act. You have one action left. I like that. All right, we're gonna play. I'm gonna do this. We all know the beat comps there. We're gonna play the Hawkeye folding camera for two. Then I'm gonna move out into the lobby. Lobby bar. Lobby bar. Then I'm gonna play Working a Hunch for free. It's fast. I discover a clue at my location. I have one action left. How about we advance the act? Let's advance it. Weave me a tail, Mr. Wooly. I cash in four, you cash in two, and the awakening is starting. A shadow creeps along the wall beside you. I'm gonna make you the lead investigator again for decision points. Okay. You're gonna choose our decisions, because I, I have been through this probably four years ago, five years, I mean. Right. I'm in Surpriseville, basically. And maybe halfway through, it's really a, hard to imagine. A shadow creeps along the wall beside you and your heart leaps into your throat. You turn and a figure flits away, just out of sight. Either your mind is playing tricks on you or someone else is in the theater. You follow the direction of the shadow, rounding a nearby corner. At the far end of the hall, he stands waiting. A man in an elegant black suit, his face covered by a pale mask. Though his attire has changed, you instantly recognize him as the actor who played the role of the stranger, one of the characters from The King in Yellow. He turns and disappears through an open doorway, as if taunting you to follow. Choose one of the set-aside locations at random. Put that location into play and spawn the set-aside man and pallid mask enemy at that location. Advance to one of the copies of Act 2A at random. Remove the other two from the game without looking at them. Nice. Replayability. Hey, Leon, a quick question here. It says, I'm from the UK, but on the site, I see you have a content membership. What's that all about? Would like to help you guys out as I love your content. Is it okay to cancel it at any time? Yes to all of that. You can sign up from wherever you want. You can sign up and cancel whenever you want. You sign up, it's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks a month for as long as you want to be a member, and it allows us to do exactly what we're doing. So if you love the content, that's a good way to support us. Place a resource on your location in Hawkeye. I put one on Hawkeye. I don't know what the location you're talking about at all. Choose one here, random. Okay. The other two are out of the game. And then we have a man in the pallid mask who is going to mm. either another lobby or another. What, what am I doing? Choose left or right. Left. Okay. Right, you pointed to my right, that, that left. Okay. I couldn't see, like, it, your hand, it just looked like your hand, and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with your I, hand? I never did that in the weirdest way imaginable. Okay, two way or out, 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 out. Okay, another backstage doorway. So that's going to connect with backstage. We're going to put the guy there, and we're going to advance this out. Are you two kidding a. me? The one backstage door we didn't check had the dude in it? Yep, well, it just goes to show you. Check all the doors. There's Act 2A, and then let me get Act 3A ready. The Man in the Pallid Mask Flavor says, Indeed, it's time. We have all laid aside disguise but you. What's up, Knights of the Stars? We're doing well. So well, actually. We got the overhead now. We're getting there. This is, this is a lot of good space, too. Wait, he's a weakness? What is this? 
It says investigate. Your location gets plus two shroud for this investigation. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, defeat the man in the paddle mask. All right. I'm on it. I'm on the Things case. It's getting weird, Zach. The mysterious stranger from The King in Yellow might know something about what happened during the intermission. You must find and confront him if you're to discover the truth. And the man in the pallid mask would be discarded from play advance. Oh, I'm going to get it. <laughs> X going to give it to you? I have one action left. One action remaining. Let's, uh, let's just keep on moving. Keep on trucking. How about you okay. keep exploring up here? Should I keep exploring, you think? Or should we just go talk to the man? I mean, I'm next turn, I'm going to go in there. And I'm the investigator, right? Because yeah. you only got a three book. Maybe I'll check some things out over here. Maybe I'll check some things out. Okay. Let's go flip you. You're done. Uh-huh. Okay. Man, so this could have been... The rehearsal room's a one. Mm -hmm. The dressing room's a four. And this is the third backstage doorway that we didn't use. We don't know what's in it. Yeah, Was this the don't... one that I pulled out when mm -hmm. I, you had me yep. pick? So it like, chooses either the one here or the one over here. Randomly. But like the, the man in the pallet mask gives on this investigate gives plus two shroud. Oof. So it could have been the six. Ooh, nice. Well, like, yeah, and it could be a six underneath yeah, the area. Yeah. Or it could have been the one. That would have been That's nice. That's crazy. Would have been nice in the rehearsal room, yeah. Okay, let's go move one, move two for the lobby doorway, lobby bar there. Oh my gosh. Someone else said, or stab him in the face, you got options. Yeah, that enchanted blade's coming to party. What's the box office say? We can gain five. I can gain five resources, but then we have to write down that we stole from the box office. I'm not doing that. It's too weird. I'm not stealing now. I feel like that would make man, yellow man uncomfortable. It says, raindrops pelt your clothing as you step into the box office. Raindrop, side note. It takes you a moment before you remember you purchased your tickets indoors, and you realize it is somehow raining through the roof of the hall. Hmm. How? But bum, how? Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> um... I like the uh, <laughs> energy you brought to that. <laughs> Thank you. Last action. I think I'm going to go back to the lobby, man. Lobby bar? It's right there in the lobby. <laughs> right there in the lobby. Yeah, I think it's moving. It's an old-fashioned going trucking well, there's, there's, scenario. There's not like a specific like thing. Oh, the balcony. Yeah, that you unexplored. But I, you I need to get, get to the balcony. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll go to the balcony, we, and then I can good. jump down to the theater as needed. Indeed. All right. It's a very mobile position. Grab a card from the top. Grab a resource. Do you we ever, don't have any hunters. Do you ever get a little terrified you're just going to draw your weakness? Yes, but I already have. Yeah, well, that makes so it easy. So it's all fine. Uh, and then we're going to do the bad thing. So now things are going to get weird, probably. Let's see what the agenda says. We get to remove the old spires as well. And does the spires go away when it's cleared? There's no doom discard yet. It's gone. That's a good, fortunate time to get it. The, uh, okay. Abruptly, the malformed body of an unnatural nightmare slams onto the stage. Nobody's in the theater. Good. I'm in the theater. Oh, you're in the theater. That's me. You've got a big old blade, though. Uh, it's slithering tendrils reaching into the aisles. It opens its maw and lets out a shrill, piercing song. The melody is uncanny. The notes sear into your mind. Pain pounds in your forehead and blood runs from your ears. I wonder if you'd be interested in a nice little uh, freestyle. I have my trumpet. Or I wish I did. Search all set-aside cards in the victory display for the Royal Emissary. Spawn it at the theater. It's spawning at you. <laughs> Come to Poppy. But it's massive, so it doesn't actually engage you. So massive things are just basically sitting in the theater. They're going to be engaged with anyone in the theater. You can leave the theater as normal. He won't come with you, but I believe you will still take an opportunity to attack because he's engaged and you do something other than attack and, and etc. If I foot test him, does he exhaust? He will exhaust, yeah. At the end of the enemy phase... Each investigator at this location takes a horror because he's singing a, a terrifying song. Only four health and a four stat. He's an arcane blade and a shriveling away from getting wrecked. I say we just wreck this dude. Victory too as well. Let's kill this thing. Let's murder in the Let's theater. Let's murder. <laughs> it's there's also, a murder. There's been a murder. <laughs> All right, boss. This is creepy, by the way. Really appreciate the art on Royal Emissary. It is gr Gross. It seems like a more than a four hit point monster, does it not? I mean, we're on the first stage of this thing, so they can't, they can't bear it. This you. was, you, you cut your teeth in Forgotten Age also, by the way, so like. Yeah, I'm this, just, this, I'm you're sitting gonna here be looking like... at this and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this is not that bad. <laughs> All right, and each connecting location also takes four, that's right. Yeah, we, got, we got you, thanks for that. Okay. Yeah, uh, or connecting, right on. Okay, that thing's dead. Yeah, man. 
And then we got the encore, Agenda 2A. The creature's song echoes relentlessly throughout the halls of the theater. The melody repeats again and again, yet somehow never the same note twice. I like that I played two soothing melodies, and I've now this cra strange creature has been playing nothing but disgusting melodies. Let me add them. After Royal Emissary is added to the victor display, remove all Doom from play and reset the Agenda deck to Agenda 1A, then place three Doom on it. So we kill the Emissary, it goes back to one, and it has three. Then we get three more Doom, it advances, and it comes back out. Then we kill him, and it goes back in, out, etc. Don't let it get to six. Six is how he comes back into play. He, yeah, so like, if we kill him now, he'll leave play. We'll flip back to 1A, where we were, with three Doom on it. The next turn we'll add one, next turn we'll add one, next turn we'll add one. And then when it flips again, he'll come back out, and we'll have to kill him again. So it's got to get to six, and then it's got to get to three to yes. come back to this one. If this gets to six, we lose. If we kill him, this goes away. And oh, we perfect, go back to one. perfect, perfect. So just acing this guy over and over is not a bad idea. Well, we're going to do it. Let really, me, acing him once is the best idea. Let me go first. Uh, yeah, we got to do the bad cards, though. Oh, uh, we don't need those. One for me, one for you. Starting with me, I got a fanatic on me. Someone's about to get shriveled. Uh, reveal location with the most clues. Currently it's high. There are no revealed locations with the most clues, right? Zero. So I'm going to take him. After your interplay, move one clue from the location to the fanatic. When you defeat fanatic, take control of all of its clues. Okay, so it can steal clues. All right. And I'm happy I... to just take him. Are you happy with that? Yeah. I'll just shrivel him. Uh, Spirit's Torment. Attached to your location. Forced. After you leave attached location, you must either take a horror or lose an action. Action, place one of your clues on attached location, discard Spirit's Torment. Okay, fair. So that's a, the theater's a really awkward place for that to be. It's a Well, that's fine. I'm going to murder this guy mm -hmm. on my turn, and then someone can do that when we're walking through. Fair enough. Uh, and then... It's time for the murdering. Let's flip my card. Working a hunch. Oof, nice. I love so that card so much. I need a clue to put back. All right. There's no hunches here, man. Let, let me let me go first on this, would you? I can't put him on another location. I guess that's not awful. Let's just put the fanatic in the box office. No need to bother with him, really. No victory there. Yeah. He just really wants some tickets. He's just hanging out. I need tickets. <laughs> All right. Ah. You, you can ready? try on uh, swinging for Big Poppy here, and then if you miss, I can throw roll in with the shriveling. And so when I use one of my charges on the Enchanted Blade, I'm at seven because I have the beat cop plus the plus one from the Enchanted Blade plus the second plus one. So I should hit both hits. Easy. I, and I like I want to use those charges because I want to get use it up and then yeah. play my next weapon. So let's just do this. Easy. Um. So the first one. I have this, uh, uh, I don't know if I should use it or not. Oh, this is the card I should use. I can definitely pass these tests if I want to use cards on it. I don't even know if I should, though. I'm at plus three. That's almost every token in the back. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're good. All right, you're first great. action. We're going to use a charge on the Enchanted Blade. Charge it up. Charge it up. It's glowing with enhanced power. The Beat Cop doesn't know what to think. Oh, auto fail. Of course it did. Try it again. <laughs> uh, of course it did. And I don't want to. I'm, I'm done taking this chance. Take the initiative for plus two. Not, it's going to be the first skill test. Uh, Is that not true? No, it's just minus one question mark for every skill ah, test. Ah, right on. Right so right. still plus two. So now I'm ahead by five. Anything but the tentacles. Minus one. And we'll do it. Two damage, and then I'll do it again. Action number three. Action numero three. There we go. The blade is used up. I hope I don't have to kill him again. Minus one. Got him. He's gone. Victory pile. Victory two. And then we go back here. And then you go back to Agenda 1A, yeah. Comes in with three. And we go about our business. So that All was right. your turn, huh? That was my turn. And then what does it say after you leave this location? Take a horror, release an action, place a clue on it, and discard Spirit's Torment. Should we see what the balcony's got to say, or should I, think, I, I think beeline for be the balcony. man in the pallet mask here? Uh, do you think you can deal with him? No. Uh, retaliate, yeah, we're going to do retaliate damage. So you missed one on Big Boy, 
So he does two damage back to you. One on the cop, one on the me. One on the cop, one on the me, a classic move. Well, I did this backwards. That's why it worked so well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the balcony. First action. From the lobby, yeah. From the lobby. Two clues, two shroud. And then when I move down to the theater, I take two damage because I got to jump. Yep. Makes sense. But you can get that clue, get us a victory point, and then come down and clear Ooh, that spirit I could get. I could get those. That's the, that's the job you, you are on right now. There's been a murder. Hmm, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me read this fully. During this image, you are feeling it connected. Yeah. It's usually in a serial location. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Second action, I'm just going to try to get a clue the old fashioned way from the balcony there. Where's that bag? There it is. Give me that victory, man. Success! Three to two. And then uh, third action, I'm going to do the same thing, man. You know it's a skull. Swooshitans? Minus one. Take it. That's a victory point. <clears throat> All right. Done. And then I can go get rid of that Spirit's Torment if we need it. And I can do that first turn next turn, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Hunter, nothing's going to hunt here. Just an aloof man in the pallid mask <laughs> waiting to be talked to. We get to draw our cards and gain our money. Hmm. Nice. Gain our money. Got money in different area codes here. Then we advance this once. So four of six. I take a card, you take a card, unless this is a surge. Another spirit's torment. Looks like I'm going to be taking a horror there. Yep. And then yours. Whispers in your head. Peril. Hidden. What's hidden mean? Hidden means keep it in your hand. And peril means I can't help you resolve it. Is it bad? Can you tell me? Can you say, give me a look. Look towards the ceiling if it's bad. Look towards the table if it's good. It's just a waste of time. OK. <laughs> That's all of this is, really. Uh, We're done. Now it's our I turn. I need to gain a buck. Wow. You're way behind. about that. And then beginning of the turn? Yep. Working a hunch. Mm hmm So here's what I would like. Let me get rid of that torn. Are you going to leave this location? If you move down here and use this to put the clue there, I can get the clue back with this as a fast action. And when I discover that clue, I'll get to take a picture with the hot guy. Oh, you totally will. That's, that's busted. OK, do I want the damage and the hypochondria? No, I don't. I really, really don't. First action, I'll move back down to the lobby like a gentleman. <laughs> Chris Mo Byer says, just joined. Are those new, board, new Mythos boards? Yeah, there's some prototypes, late stage prototypes for our Carcosa boards. It'll be available soon. Second action, move into the theater. Mm -hmm. uh, third action, place a clue onto it to get rid of Spirit's Torment. Hey, teamwork and making the dream work. And mine? <laughs> yeah, how about a free work in the hunch? What do you think? Let's do this first. I'm going to take two actions to discard Whispers in your head from my hand. It's miserable. I can't play events otherwise. Then I'll take a fa fast action to nice. work a hunch. So I'll get the clue. I'll take a picture with the camera. I'm just going to help you talk to the man. Yeah, and then I have one action left, so just in case things get crazy, I'm going to spend four on mm. Detectives, Detectives Colt 1911s. You can keep that blade out. Do you have the hand slots for it? Does That's it, a double hand. It does it, but do they count? Oh, oh tools wait. don't count. Yeah, Hawkeye doesn't count anymore. Yeah, Hawkeye doesn't count anymore. So it comes in with four charges. I see. I basically uh, mm -hmm. want to have that in play in case something weird happens. Yeah, yeah, totally makes sense. And then I'll be able to walk in and, well, I'll do what I do. <laughs> pachow, pachow. <laughs> All right, done. Pachow, no, pachow. No enemies, draw a card. Me four. Gain a resource. Going up to nine. 
Pachow, pachow. Yeah, that's, that's going to be my new catchphrase. I've got to work on the stream, you know? All right, so there's a doom. So again, anyone in the theater, remember a big old grotesque thing could come back if we have to flip this with ancient evils or something. Yep. So we're it's both fine. We're both here ready for it. I've got two shriveling charges for it and then two more next time. So here's the rats. Over to you. You're getting ratted all day. Oh my goodness, it's peril and it goes in my hands. I have a feeling I know what it is. Who needs events anyway? Not me. All right, right back to us. It's killing time. Mm, 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 All right, start the investigator mm, phase. This flips. Mm, 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 mm. You don't need the cards. We just need to go talk to Homeboy. Let me do that first. Okay. Nothing in your hand is preventing you from doing it? Nope. Okay. I'm going to move one. Yep. Second action, move here. Flipping flip this it. over. It's a trap room. Oh, no. What does that mean? Uh, three shroud, two clues come on it. Forced, after you reveal the trap room, search the encounter deck and discard pile for one copy of Swarm of Rats and put <laughs> it into play, engage with you. Two copies instead if there are three or four investigators in the game. Swarm of Rats coming in? Mm-hmm. Have some rats. Well, I have one action left. This is, he's aloof. He doesn't engage. He's right? not going to engage you, no. All right. Well, I think I just punch the rats, and then I deal with him next round. Okay. I'm into that. Now the big old Bertha's going to come out this next turn, and so I'm just going to stay there and shrivel, shrivel Bertha until there's no more shriveling left to do. And we need to take Bertha off the table to score the two victory points. Yeah, I don't because we've got. Oh, there's a third act. So you could you can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and well, I guess you could attempt to advance the act right now. I'd have a turn left. You'd take one from the rats, and then you'd take one from the rats again. So that'd be two damage. I don't know how much that matters or how much you care. Or it's plus two. I'm five. So I'm at five to five on the investigate test. That's not enough. I think I just punch the rats. Punch the rats. Punching the rats. All right. I'm at a. I don't want to spend an ammo on this. I'm at a four to one. I'm ahead by three. I feel pretty reasonable about that, don't we? I think we do. Four to three. The, you, you're hip to what the hidden card does, what the peril says? They're all a little different, apparently. Does it say can't punch rats? Can't no. Move? I can't do anything I just did. <laughs> Shuffle that back in. Hidden is a problematic mechanic sometimes. <laughs> all right, let's just walk this back. I can't move more than twice, so I'll move there, and then I'll take two actions to get rid of that. More than twice? I was here. Two isn't more than twice, though. Oh, it says... You can't move more than once, sorry. Okay, yeah. So I move here, I spend two actions, get rid of it. Bummer. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so I guess I'm probably going to sit with uh, Bertha here. I'm only doing this because chat's asking for it. This is where pictures were taken. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna honor the chat. It's honor not, the chat. It's not hard to remember. I gotta tell you. Um, someone says get out of the theater because that's where the monster plops down. But don't they do something bad to you when that happens? Also, you have the rats. Don't forget about the rats. Yeah, I'll hit the rats. The monster will plop down. I'll shovel it twice, send it back packing, and does it do something to you the turn it comes out? No. Nope. All right, fine. Deal with it, man. Nope. It's coming out during the mythos phase, so that's I got no issue with that. Uh, swarm of rats. How about the take a punch from Boom. old Jim? The voice of the South. <laughs> now, some would say that three minus three is zero. I would say that. And the swarm of rats is one. But I don't want to waste any time here. I'm going to lucky that. Mm. Lucky on some rats. <laughs> I know. Bummer, dude. <laughs> it's just, a, it's just can't, you just can't waste time there. Uh, second action, I'm going to play Delve Too Deep. What's that do? We're both going to draw a card from the top of the encounter deck and then get one victory. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I freaking love that. And we might just go ahead and advance it right now with Ancient Evils. Let's see. Uh-oh, Agent of the King. What have you done? Gray is the most clues. Yeah, I know. This is the, this is the mystic game you're getting to play here. <laughs> After Agent of the King attacks me, move one of my clues to Agent of the King. When you defeat it, take control of all of its clues. Not a problem. Mine? Yep. 
Poltergeist cannot be damaged except by spell, relic, or encounter cards. Parlay. Enchanted Blade would have been great there. Test three book to attempt to banish the Geist. If you succeed, deal it a damage. Okay, that's fine. This is this is about the timing that this makes sense. Just go ahead and make that happen. Um, can you use a Beat Cop's ability to hurt that thing? One damage of two. Spell, relic, or encounter cards. That's neither a spell, relic, or encounter card. So, no, you cannot. You're just going to have to take some sanity and be okay with it. You know? I am definitely taking it this turn because I have no actions. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've got a big old shriveling turn coming up. Uh, and I've got to deal with this hypochondria, too. There's actually a lot going on here now. I like that I just blew this board up. That's a lot worse than I expected. Okay, next up. Third action. Let's either try to plug one damage into Agent of the King. I'm going to take three sanity damage from that. Hypochondria is the worst. Or... You have two actions? I have one action. Mm. Hit the rats. Hit a victory point. We're going to love it when it happens. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is this premonition. I'm almost certain of it. Yeah, premonition. Good to know. It's a plus one. And then last action officially, I'm going to kind of use shriveling. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm not going to reveal the weird token, so I don't have to worry about the horror. Deal two damage to Agent of the King. Hey, that's going to be another victory when you get him. Oh, I know, off. dude. I, you got to flex gonna, on that. I've got two arcane research, so I'm going to get nothing. I'm going to get all of these great spells. All right, end around. End around. So, so the enemies are going to do the bad things. So I'm going to take two sanity, and I'm going to take it to Olive. I'm going to put one on my as well as one health, and one on Joe Diamond. Olive's gone. Sorry, Olive. And then I take a direct because I'm a hypochondriac. Hypochondriac. And you took your two sanity? Yep. I put okay. one on the cop. Yep. A blurb says, you had two actions to clear hypochondria, and then you delved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to look into the light. Or the flame. Then we draw a card and gain a resource. Mm. I love all the cards in my deck. I really do. That's good. All right, all of off the table, and now we go to. You got your card and a resource. Mm -hmm. Now we got big theater mama coming in. <laughs> theater mama, mommy. Encore. Coming in. That's pretty funny. Does have retaliate as well, and then uh, that's it. So we're back there. All the doom clears, and then we go to the bad cards here. Well. This is what this I need. This could be the old Cincinnati pileup right here. Yeah. Woo! Whispers in my head. It's pretty cool because it always goes in your hand, but it does something different every time. So okay. Read it. This one is totally fine for me. All right, mine? Yep. Rotting remains. Test three whore, or brain for each point I fail by. I take, I have three currently because of my folding camera. Mm-hmm. Three to three. Good luck. Best of luck. Oh, that's oh. true. Yeah, so that, that's totally true. Uh, after you take one or more damage, take a direct horror. Yeah, great. I've got one extra. Um, let's Thank think you. about this. I'm going to I'm gonna commit a card to this. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I don't, I don't want to take a bunch of horror. I'm going to take Steadfast. While I have 10 or Very more nice. remaining health, I get it gets plus 2, so I'm plus 3 total mind. I have a two plus the Hawkeye, so I'm at six. Six to three. To three. I feel pretty all right about that. I hit that tentacle on my first rotting remain, so it's already happened, which means it won't ever happen again during the That's course the of the rule, game. That's the rule, right? That's right. Boom. It's a zero. Nailed it. These corpses don't scare us. Okay. Flipping? <clears throat> yeah, we're ready to go. So my first most important thing to do is to kill this Agent of the King. So I believe that I'm going to do that. I'm going to start the turn by doing that. So we're shriveling. It's going to use uh, head power. 
Four to four. Hmm. I can at least go to five. Five to four is tough. I need that upgraded shriveling. Hold on, let me think about this before I do it. Mm -hmm. Now, so, if I'm at five to four, plus one is not bad for Jim, right? What, what would be really cool, IMO, is you run in from this thing. It's victory one. I don't run from victory one. Well, I might come get it. Yeah. Because you're the only person that can deal with this. Mm hmm. Sounds like you should bring that thing to me. That's a thing I could do. <laughs> yeah. But I would take two sanity for that. You would, for your trouble. Yeah. What have you done? So we can either, I can either take a five to four, I can actually do a six to four test on Agent of the King, which is pretty solid, given the, the gym deck, gym bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's out. The gym bag's hilarious thing to say. <laughs> I love that, actually. Uh, it's like Jimbo, but better. Then I've got the Royal Emissary. Four to my four is oh, not yeah, quite, quite enough. No stand and turn. Mm -hmm. Top six. Mm -hmm. I might, I could also grab my trumpet. I've got Ellie in hand, so I, I really let's, need to play her. Let's think about this. Discard your beat cop for no reason. We need to not be next to that thing at the end of this. Yep. Because you can leave without penalty, right? Once this thing's gone. Yeah. No, he still attacks us. He's still the opportunity attack mm. for me. Which is not terrible. It's just two. He won't come with me, though. Why don't... Well, I think... What's up? I can't let this thing attack me. This is number one rule. This thing cannot attack me. So I can't do anything except either fight this or you take your turn. So that's the question you've got to ask I think I think you should f fight it. I mean, I'm tempted to come over there and me deal with it. But you may yet get that opportunity. <laughs> How about you start? I, the thing is, if I, even if I move this over to you, I need to go first. Yeah? Because if I move over, I don't think I can move over. So you're saying I should try to kill Agent of the King, then move backstage, and then try to hit your own your poltergeist, and then I'll take one horror from the Royal Emissary being connecting to it. My other option is I move to you, take two horror, then I don't do. I have to do something. Mm -hmm. So then kill like, this thing. But if I attack that, I take the opportunity attack from this, right? Mm -mm. As long as you declare an attack action, there's no opportunity attack. So then technically I can move, take two, take this thing out. Mm -hmm. and then, then swing for two on the fatty, on the emissary. Yes. And then I would need you to clear this and this. And yeah, and that's very possible. I think that's what we have but to if do. But if the train goes off the rails here, it's going to go really far off the rails. In, the, in kind of the kind of magical way that I somewhat appreciate. <laughs> Because like you're, you're Cause I, I could also I, I could also parlay with it. Yeah, let's not let's not sleep on that. Let's not sleep on that. Because I have five you're book. You're at six. You're at five book. That's right. I'm at five book. So two up is good right now. Two up, and let me see if I have any hands handsy cards. You have this fine clothes? No. Can't put on this fine clothes yet. Talking to that poltergeist though, that'd be sick. Ah, I recognize a man uh, of good taste. All right. <laughs> I think um, I'm, ah, I think I'll so not haunt you yet. I think then I basically have to parlay to get rid of him and not take anything from him. And if I can parlay with him twice, then my last thing is move into the aloof with the man in the pallid mask and hang out so I escape this craziness. Then I think you need to deal two here. Mm -hmm. And then and probably two to the emissary. Just or maybe I just try to run. It's a, it'd be a two on a two. I mean, you have seven health, so even if the emissary just hits you for two, it's not the end of the world. Like not the thing. end of the world. It's just a direct hole. And actually, right? if you don't remove him this round, and you wait till next round, mm. then we buy ourselves more time. Yeah. And if that's the case, I might kill here, move, move. Yeah. And just take the opportunity attack. I'll take two damage, take a direct horror. Jim's seen worse. I mean, I've been diving into the deep. I've, I've seen. I've been drawn to the flame. This is the least of my worries. So I, everyone's saying I can uh, that I should parlay and then beat cop. I don't think beat cop can do it though, right? 
It says, cannot be damaged by, except by spell, relic, or encounter cards. That's not a spell. Or a relic. It's not a relic, and that's not an encounter card. It's a player card. Yeah. Can't do it. Beat Cop, if you can't talk to the Poltergeist, the Beat Cop certainly can't talk to the yeah. Poltergeist. I, I'm with it. Agenda does not have three, no. It should not. It's because we're on the Encore. We're on the Encore. Okay. Um, so whose turn can go the most sideways? So this is a good thing as well. I should go first. Because if I fail at, the, at parlays, then when instead of you move moving, you mm -hmm. can move here and take this thing off of me. Mm -hmm. And we would each take one instead of this to give me two and this giving me one. Yeah. Okay. You with that? Now that's assuming that I can kill this agent of the king. It's going to be a five... I can either do a 5-4 test, or I can do a 6-4 test, or I can do two 5-4 tests. You got that, that gym bag. I got the gym bag. It's a 50-50 shot. Man. All right, let me just start this thing off. All right, here we go. I'm going to parlay. I have a 4 naturally. I have a plus 1 from the Hawkeye camera. So I'm at a 5 mm -hmm. to the 3. Mm -hmm. Showing it your pictures? Yeah. Look, it's your, <laughs> it's your family. So I'm ahead by 2. Now... I'm going to go ahead and commit a card to make me head by three, just to cancel It's out only one turns. damage. you got to do it twice. I'd wait and make sure you hit the first one before all right, you all right, go all right, in on the second one. Right, right. This is a classic Arkham right here. Minus, minus one. one. We got it. For now. It's about to be a minus three for you if you have three horror. By that, I mean it's not going to do that. Round two. I'm going to commit a now card. Now I would commit here, yeah. All right. Oh, we're just going to... I'm going to commit a deduction. It's only going to be an extra icon. I can do a minus three or better. Wow, committing a deduction there is really top notch. Plus one. It's, that's, there's no clues to There's get. no clues. I know, yeah. It's like, well. All right, Poltergeist has been parlayed. All right. And then I'm going to move into the backstage doorway. Nice. I'm going to get my rats. Oh, right. Yeah, we've, we, but I wouldn't have known that. We, did, we wouldn't have known it at all. Rats. <laughs> Drat. Okay, Jim. <clears throat> All right, Jim. So I'm two tests at a plus one, one test at a plus two. I feel like two tests at plus one is better. Are they both over two damage? Yeah. Right. I feel that way too. I'm sure there's some... Uh... It's basically like what you're doing is... Statistically, you're way more likely to have one of the two be a, uh, the one. Like, that, that's way more true, especially with your gem bag. Because yeah. you have so many minus ones in there. But the obviously the two once is your odds are really good. But the problem is if you hit a tentacle on the one shot, yeah. and it, that means you don't get to do it, it, it's just too good of a risk. It's, it's big. It's too big. That's why the autofill is important for this game. Okay. First action, four to four. I'm going to drop a read the sign skill as a skill card, so I'm five to four on a shrivel. Best of luck, Jim. That's plus, a one. plus one. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, score that victory point. Anybody though. like experience points? We're delving. We're delving Ooh. so deep. Okay. Now, second action is going to essentially be two, one. So, yeah. So, it's something to keep in mind, too. Royal Emissary is going to move, because it does have Hunter, here next turn. That's great, actually. It's going to do that, and then at the end of the enemy phase, it's going to do... So, it will move, and then we'll both take one horror. Oh, I didn't know here. that. That's I didn't fine either. though. That turns your skulls into bad skulls. Uh, are you just going to beat them up? I could take two cracks, but it's four on four. That's not good. We ask. don't do that. We don't take those cracks. That's not how we play. Mm -mm. Now, what you could do is go, because uh, we have equally low brain stats, right? No, you, I have a lower brain stat. He's coming at me. It's just all there is to it. Yeah, that's true. So I could go here, and then you could just get wrecked. Why would you do that? <laughs> One horror is not the end of the world. No. Plus, I have uh, all my cards that... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Something I did... Up. Are you going insane? Well, I, Is I the Yellow so. King setting in here? We're good. I think I'm going to move here and then play an ally. Okay, for Soak. But 
That's going to mean it's going to hunt That's and perfect. it's going to attack me. For two, two health. What's the ally? Can they soak some? They can soak one of them. Nope, they can soak none of them. You could also evade it. Mm. It would exhaust, dude. I'm a two to its two. We don't do two to two tests in Arkham. I agree with you. It does not happen. Okay. Now I could also go here, play an ally, take the two damage, so it's two and one, and then it's gonna move towards you. Yeah. And then I'm safe, basically. But like, it's all about getting here, right? I'm not gonna do anything with that guy. That's your. That's yours to do. That's true. You can just run. Yeah. And I'm gonna get wrecked. But it's well, cool. I'll come back and tri do a shrivel. The thing is, like, I'm gonna deal with this thing, and then I'm gonna deal with that thing, and we're gonna call it a day. Yeah. Now, of course, the the encounter cards might have something to say about that. Yeah, I'm Joe Diamond. I could also get rid of this hypochondria. Just take two damage. It's gonna hunt towards you. Take a horror. And then play an ally, and then I like that better. This is too annoying. It is very annoying. Hmm. This is why we play. Two damage, and then I would. So it's actually going to hunt before it attacks me. That's good. That's good, right? Is that how that works? Engage enemies, attack. Do we have those cards? The round cards? Not, that's not me. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Let me hold this up. I gotta find the order of things. This drives me insane. There they are. Okay, so. Hunt first, then punches. Yeah, According to okay, sleepers. great. So it's gonna, it's gonna get away from me. Great, 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 great. Yeah, I like that play a lot, because then you're still close enough to come in and help me wreck it. Score some points, you know? Oh, but if I do that, that's also an opportunity attack. When you use your hypochondria action? Yeah, because massive now, you is could also just me. not do that and hang out. Play your ally here. That's also an opportunity attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. Anything I do is going to be an opportunity attack. It'll hunt to me. It says prey lowest mind. And he's got higher mind than me. Yeah, prey lowest mind. So prey means hunter will always hunt towards its prey. Oh, engage enemies don't hunt because it's engaged mm, with you. Okay. Engage enemies don't hunt. That makes sense. It does make sense. They've got meat in front of them. Man, I just want to kill this thing so badly. I definitely thought the Royal Emiss Emissary's subtype, subtitle was Messenger from Alderaan. <laughs> It's close, right? <laughs> it's pretty close, yeah. All right, I'm going to do it the hard way. Uh, second action, let's move here. Oof. Take two damage. Oof. And one direct horror, because I'm a hypochondriac. And then third action, I'm going to play Ellie Horowitz. We're going to search the top nine for a relic. But now you don't have to do the painful if you hit your weakness thing, right? I do not. Nope. Because that was just Mandy? There's a Chthonian stone. Could be good. And there's the trumpet. Ho! Let's play the trumpet. The Chthonian stone seals something. Yep, none of those are in the bag. It's not going to matter right now. Someone's going to get hit again? Yeah, does, I don't know what that's about. Does massive mean he punches things in the room next to him? I don't think so. Is that is that true? Why is it still going to hunt to me? I'm the prey, though, right? That's the what prey means. Lowest willpower is the prey, yes. Prey, lowest willpower. That's Joe. Hunter moves towards its prey. So tell me, why is he going to hunt to me? No, prey. Prey. <laughs> prey, Mike. <laughs> what does the keyword mean? <clears throat> is it just a tiebreaker, really? Huh. Who knew? Never hmm. knew. I never knew. Well, does that change anything? Uh, it probably means Ellie's going to die. 
My Trump is going to go back to the to the ring. I'm going to just take two damage. Two and one, yeah. I'll take two and one. But that means I don't. That's true. <laughs> Things are looking up for old Joe Diamond. All right, sounds good to me. Well, I got the trumpet. That's all I really care about. All right, then we go to the bad stuff. Hunters apparently are going to hunt here. Hunter's going to hunt. And then I'll take two the more. The rats are going to bite my ankles. And then one for hypochondria. And then one for the Royal Emissary's ability at the end of the enemy phase. You took your rat damage? I took my rat damage, yep. And then everything unexhaust that needs to exhaust. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Whee! Mm, that's a good card. All right. Bad cards. Bad cards. And Doom. One on. When does Doom happen? Doom yeah. on, yeah. One for me. A fanatic. Reveal location with the most clues. That's you. Oh, no. Spawn. Move a clue from the fanatic's location. Here. When I defeat it, I take control of all clues. It engages with me? Yeah. I auto. got some work to do. Auto engages. Got to clean yeah, up after guy, that I delve mean, into yeah, deep. These guys don't. I'm just going to nuke them. You know. You know what I mean? I'm just going to clear them. Yeah, massive monsters do move. Otherwise, there'd be no reason for him to have Hunter on him. They're just Massive yeah. just means they engage everything in that Yeah, and they, they just don't come with me. Like, me moving yeah. doesn't bring him with me because he's not in my threat area. Okay. Well, at least I've got that trumpet. I'm going to start playing some music. 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 <laughs> Music. All right. What do you think? Well, I think I'm going to punch the rats. Okay. I think I'm going to use a bullet on the fanatic. Mm hmm. So, classic turn. What's your hunch I have to say? Oh, yeah. And oh no, it's a weakness. <laughs> this definitely turned over. Place <laughs> one it. of your clues on the location with the highest shroud. Remove unsolved case from the game. That's not. That's oh lie. great, you had a clue. So okay. highest shroud here. Yeah. And then uh, I remove it from the game. That's okay. easy. Okay. But I just get a, basically a blank. Yeah, you don't have to get a new hunch yeah. stack yet. Okay. Um, so I think I think this is the thing, dude. My dude. I think I punch, shoot. Mm-hmm. And then, if those are both successful, I'm going to try to investigate. Yeah, I think that's at right. At plus two shots. And I hope it is. I hope it's successful, because I'm over here trying to live my best life. All right, yeah. First <laughs> things first. Oh, wait, no, I could beat cop. There you go. I could just that's beat it. cop, fast that's action it. the rats. So I'm going to discard beat cop and deal one to the rats. You can also do that at the end, so you keep your plus one bonus when you're fighting mm, the fanatic. Okay, yeah, let's fight the fanatic. That's, this is smart. <clears throat> I'm going to use uh, one of my bullets. Colt? So, Detective Colt 1911s? Yep. The one, the one nine one ones. Uh, spin an ammo. I did. I get plus one attack. So I have plus one from the beat cop. Plus one from that. I started a four. So I'm at a six to his three. Mm -hmm. And if I damage it, uh, it's going to do two damage. Let me just see if I have any. What's up? He's aloof. Yeah. Just making sure. All right. Here we go. Six what do you three. Uh, cost two resources in an action to use the weakness? Oh, what's the weakness say? Forced. If unsolved case will be shuffled into your hunch deck, add it to your threat area instead. For the remainder of the game, it gains force. When the game ends, Joe Diamond earns two fewer experiences. Uh, okay, so it doesn't happen yet. You gotta wait. It just sits there, and then it's gonna try to get shuffled in, which means it's gonna go to your threat area. Then you can use that ability. But what's this place one of your clues at your location of the highest shroud? Resolve it. So once this is trying to get shuffled in, it goes to your threat area, and now you can use the forced ability on it, yeah? Is that what it says? Now, the forced ability is if unsolved case would be shuffled into my hunch deck, mm -hmm. add it to my threat area. Oh, so I can't use that ability yet. So at the end of the round, this gets sh it would act try to get shuffled in, and yeah. instead it would come here. Yeah. And once it's in play, I can use the place one of your clues. I think, I think that's right. Let me take a look at it. So the first thing. Oh, it says it has to be played like an event. It's an event. Oh, it's a four cost. Oh, right. So it's a two cost event. Right, right, right. So you can play it right now, put a clue on the thing, and remove it from the game for two resources. Oh, because it's minus two. 
That's what they're saying. Yes, yeah, it's an action. Okay. Yeah. So we'll come back to that in a minute. But I got you, it. If you did that, it's an attack of opportunity. That's gross. Not doing that yet. We're attacking here. I'm at plus three. Easy. Minus two. So two damage here. That goes away, and I get my clue back. It's gone. Then I'll fast action, use the beat cop to get the rats. Yeah. Thank you. And then I have two actions left. Talk to that man. Let's so, go. Let's start there. Yep. I'm going to investigate. I have a four, five because of this. It's at it's a plus a two, so it's five to five. And then I have cards. We should have that live and learn and lucky, right? I'm going to commit two cards. Oof. So I'm ahead by two. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. And if you this doesn't this. work, well, next round I'm shooting. You got this. Minus, Minus one. Minus one. You did it. All right. Uh, advance the act. Yeah? And then it says, instead of discovering clues, I defeat the man in the pallid mask. Defeated. I assume he just goes to the discard pile, yeah? Plus two shroud. Defeat the man in the pallid mask. Didn't have victory, so he's in the discard pile there. Curtain call. The stranger must know. Ooh, not yet. As you face off with a stranger, you get the sense that he's grinning beneath his pale, faceless mask. Where is everyone? You ask, but he does not respond. What is going on? He remains silent and steps back as you approach until his back is against the corner of the room, the trap room, to be exact. Inexplicably, he continues to back away and his body melds into the wall behind him, erupting from where he stood as a growing mass of vicious ooze, also known as viscous ooze, Instead of discarding the man in the pallid mask, move him to the lobby. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Add two tablets to the token, the chaos bag. Permanently? Yeah, give me two tablets. This for the rest of the game, or our campaign? We need to get out of here quick. Uh, you're reading and not saying things. Uh, yeah. I'll have more to say in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna need some backup. There's a tablet. All right, two tokens in the bag, and those are now minus fours. That's why did you do that before I started killing this royal emissary? What? We're just so bad at this. I still have an action. All right, place one horror on the location where the man in the pallid mask is. Oh, it was moved from. That's your room. Uh, until the end of the scenario, horror on locations represents the advancing ooze, and each location with horror gains force. After you leave this location, test four foot. If you fail, take a horror and a damage. Hmm. Keep this card next to the act deck as a reminder and advance to 3A. This is our reminder. All right. The, the stranger must know the way out. We have to follow him. While the, while the man in the pallid mask is not in play, the lobby gains resign as an action. Wait, okay. say that again? While he's gone, we can resign at the lobby. So now you have to deal with him. At the end of the round, place one horror in each location with no horror that is connected to a location with horror. If each undefeated investigator has resigned, advance. So get rid of the man in the pallid mask and resign which I'm in a really good position to maybe do here. Okay, I have one action left. You have one action? I'm going to unsolved case, put a clue here, and get rid of it. Okay. Or to play it. Is it the highest shroud only? Yeah. Technically so. there. Don't mm -hmm. matter. And now you. So you think you can... Well... <clears throat> it's a he, six He's test. aloof, so he's whatever. He's just hanging, yeah. You just need to get him off the board right now. Well, I, it's not easier said than done, man. It's a four fight still. And now you got two minus fours in the bag, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well, you should have gone first, dude. I know. That's what I'm thinking. I can take two tests at plus one. Jim likes that, doesn't he? I think so. Oh, yeah, I need to pay two for that. Don't, hmm. no, don't I forget it. Hmm. 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 You got that gym bag, dude. Everything you want is in that gym bag. We just had a two minus four. It's not quite as good. The gym bag is a little bit worse than it's it not, was. That's two out of 15. I mean, like, two out of 17. That's not bad. 
Oh, the kid oh right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not planning on getting that. Oh, it's a victory one. Son of no. a... No. Just saw an experience flash before my eyes. And if I don't get this clue, it's another one that's gone. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to get that one. Yeah. I didn't dive into the shadows for nothing. For nothing? Okay, well, look at the big brain on Steven here. Um... This could just go so poorly. Let me think about this for a second. You're good. Jim, I need you to play some skulls, my friend. Let's play some skulls. This hypochondria is Murdering very, very annoying. All right, so let's take first action. I'm gonna try to shrivel the Royal Emissary. I'm gonna give myself a plus one brain power, which means I'm five to its four. All right, praying for rain, ombre. I believe. Cynical. Okay, the plan has changed. That's a retaliate. So two and one. If you try to shoot and miss it, it's called a retaliate, yeah. You can put that one on Ellie. I can. Who's under it's, the trumpet? I, I can't, actually. It's direct. She was the one I contributed. Okay, okay cool. A tentacle. Nice. Love it. Okay. If I stay there, I'm going to die. If the Royal Emissary is there, I'm going to die. You have to move twice, right? If I move, I die. Oh. Yeah, because I'm at six of seven. So my next option is try to uh, get the Man in the Pallid Mask out of here and resign. So I can take one crack at an Investigate. Uh, it would be a, an investigate of, what is it, six, and I can get to a five. That's not very good. So I could try to get a plus one. I could try to evade a two to a three, and then move, and then I'd take one horror. Of you, yeah. No, even if I evade, yeah, it won't hunt if I evade. Mm hmm so, even if you just evade, if you have to evade twice, if the second one gets it, it wouldn't hurt you because it's exhausted, right? Right, right, right. So, yeah. like, that's at least, because then I can come into the party mm -hmm. and that's help you out. That's at least an option. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Yeah, I'm into it. Unfortunately, I've got to drop a water protection to do it, which could, could have saved me. Okay. Let's try that. I think it is an evade. Now, if I'm going to... Essentially, I'm going to be here doing two tests because there's no point in moving. So I may as well try it natural first and then try it with the buff second. Yep. And if you hit the first one, then you could try the pallid mask guy. Uh, yeah, or I could just move, yeah. All right, so for uh, second action, let's just try a two versus a two. There's three skulls in the bag. There's three skulls in the bag. Probably shouldn't have lucky those rats. That is what Arkham is about. Minus really? one? Mm-hmm. If you had buffed that one, you would have beat the test. But now you're going to buff and get the tentacle. Yeah, now you buff and get the minus two, is how this goes. Yeah. Well. You got to try, right? Dice are made for rolling. I think that's right. I think that's right. All right, let's try again. Plus one. It's There's a bunch of skulls in here. Give me the skull. There's a bunch of skulls in here. I'll just take physical trauma if I die here. It's not that bad. It's you... not that bad. But you better get, get all the experience. I think I still get the experience. Yeah. It was worth it. Moment. This is the tense moment right here. It's a superstar. That's great. That's very good. What's it do? I'm going to turn it into a skull, 
which gives me a, it, it makes it a zero. Then I'm going to trigger the trumpet. When a skull is revealed during a skull test, exhaust Jim's trumpet and heal a horror. All right, this is, this is better. Then Royal Emissary is going to turn. And we're done. Discardy Cardi. Discardy Cardi. Put this back in the bag. Woo! <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now, nothing that's going to do physical damage to me, please. <laughs> Mike Runes has so clutch. Okay. Okay. Um, then we go to the enemy phase. Nothing hunts. And then at the end, everything stands up. And then at the end, everybody takes a horror who's here. That's that, going to be me. That would be you. I've seen too many things. Then we do this stuff, right? It's uh, when I leave that location. You take a horror, but then it spreads. Um, end of the round is going to happen. So we'll draw a card, gain a resource, and then we've got into the round. Okay. And then we got into the round stuff. So now the thing expands, right? I moved it one. Moved it one. Okay. Good. And then we go to this thing. Mm-hmm. Two. Bad card. Bad card. Now, unfortunately, I had to play my... Also, someone said Ellie could take your horror if you wanted. Yes, she could. <clears throat> she could indeed. Descend into Madness. If I have at least three horror, I lose an action. Okay? And it surges. I'll take that card. It's a fanatic. Luckily, I'm a hypochondriac, so... He's going to have to get shriveled. All right, over to you. You still get your card there. Twisted to his wills. Revelation. I will take this on, Ellie. If there's no doom in play, Twisted to his wills gains surge. There's, does that count? No. I don't think agenda counts. I don't think agenda counts. It's not in play. Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, so it gains surge. Otherwise, so it does gain surge. Otherwise, it gains surge, yeah. Twisted to as well. Oh, Fanatic spawns differently. Real location with the most clues. All right. Green room. Yeah, pick that one. Uh, and oh, then... yeah, take some victory. And then I get a poltergeist huh. to deal with. Look at that. That's going to give us victory now because it doesn't have a clue on it anymore. <laughs> Air high five. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> that was the best thing that could have happened. Agenda counts. Agenda is in play. Right, back it up. No poltergeist. We get failed to as well. So you get the Fanatic. No. That was your card from you getting surged. Right. Uh, Twisted as well. Uh, test brain X, where X is the amount of doom in play. If you fail, discard two cards from your hand at random. What? Two. Ever. So I'm at three. Do any of these matter? No. <laughs> Sign of a good deck right there. I got you. What was that one? If it's a stone tablet, get rid of her. Where, did, where in the world did that go? Uh-oh. Here we go. It's a zero. Yeah, Tony. We haven't seen any zeros today, I feel like. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mr. B. Figaro got it. <laughs> Minus one, so I pass it. All right. Yeah, thanks, camera. It's a good camera. Three minus one is two. All right, that's way better for me. So now this is the creeping oblivion. Every time I move out of a location with the stuff in it, I take a damage and a horror. Basically, you, you test that sweet two foot, but yes, basically you take a damage and a horror. Well... It's time to go, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and I flipped this. We need to kill this Royal Emissary. That'll buy us so much time. If you can move in and give it one shot, I can't. I feel good about my opportunity here. I can get there, but I feel like the... Yeah. Yeah, that's not what you want. I feel like what I do is I play this to look at the top six. Mm-hmm. Then I move here, mm -hmm. and I play a card. Okay. And then next and I'm going to have to go to the evade plan again. And then the next round. And then I the next round we can actually play. Yep. Yikes. All right. First thing, I'm, I'll go first. Yep. Let's just see what I draw. I'm going to play no stone in a turn. Choose an investigator in my location. That investigator searches the top six, draws it, shuffles the deck. So perfect. Hmm. I'm gonna get a beat cop. Yeah. 
also known as the sponge. <laughs> I'm living the sponge life myself. I need that third soothing melody right now. It would be so clutch. All right, then I'm going to play a... Uh, yeah, we totally ignored the, like the emissary at the beginning was like, ah, oh, he's at four health, what's the matter? Now he's wrecking me. So I have two actions left. Move and play a beat cop? You don't, don't have, have any money. cash. You will after the, at the end of this turn, so then first action. I won't have four next round. I'll have three. It costs four. Well, if you like use your last action to get the money. Yeah, like if I move, get a money. Move money, but then it's move, move, shoot. Well, I'd have to play the beat cop if I move, move. And can this spread back into here? Yeah, everything so, is connecting. It'll, it'll go both. Everything is connecting, right? It'll actually go to this one, this one, and this one. This game. On each location with no horror that is connected to something with horror. Gross. So these are all connected. That's connected. It's, uh... It's annoying. No way around that. But it isn't getting any easier. So I think here's what I have to do. I'm going to play an emergency cash for three. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to play my beat cop. Yeah. That way he can soak at least some of that along the way. I Yeah, so I'm trying to think of what that makes my turn. I think you have to evade. Mm-hmm. I do have to evade, but then I'm just in the exact same situation next turn. And so I would prefer to be in a different situation. <laughs> <laughs> so before all of that goes down, what's our actual game plan for ending this game? So my thinking is when I leave here, I have to take one and one anyway. So if I do this first, it's like next round, it's take one and one on the beat cop. Mm -hmm. Move, take one and one on me. Mm -hmm. And then st stop so I don't get attacked. And then the next round, I can actually move in and shoot him up. So we're... Or I can skip all this and just come and do it anyway. Yeah. Because, like, I can uncash. Uncop. Uncop. And then what? Move, move, take two damage and two horror. And then take a third horror from him mm -hmm. being next to me. And yeah. then the next round, we can just take him off the table. Well, let's just do that. I can always play this to soak later. Plus, I have cards that should reveal here at some point. Going, to, remember, going to three horror is going to turn on those skulls, which is not good. That, they'll turn into minus threes, so that's a bummer. There's no, I'm, it's going to happen. Yeah, unless you beat, yeah, because then you, even when you're here, you're going to have to do it. Yeah. There's just, there's no. Now I could also potentially like evade, move, and then he's going to be one closer, so that if you're here. You could do move, shoot, shoot. You could technically evade, move, move. Mm -hmm. But I'm also concerned about this test because it will literally kill me. So failing the Uzi test is going to, to cause problems for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Big problems. So, so I don't want to be it, anywhere it, where I have to move in the ooze. If you actually evade and move here, mm. and he gets, he won't even come. It'll take a turn. Because you'll be exhausted. Yeah, but I think even that's bad because then the ooze goes here, and for me to move out of that, I have to pass this test. And so I can, I guess, best case scenario, I kill Ellie Horowitz to get to the lobby to resign because it's the only way out of this scenario. I think the best thing is because I have six health and four sanity left. Mm -hmm. If I literally just move, move. Yeah, in fact, just get ready for action. If I just move, 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 mm -hmm. and that way I escape the. Creeping oblivion like, the next time. I'm gonna take the whore from this anyway. You're also you would also take an attack from him if you end up here, unless he's ex exhausted, which he may be. Let's so why don't you let me start and just try to exhaust? Okay. So I'm gonna try to exhaust, and I'm trying to think right now if it's worth contributing. I mean, I really have a couple of cracks at it, so I may as well try, just a couple. And then I've got a downtown shot. Yeah. So I'm just gonna try one. Is your trumpets ready right now? Yeah, it is ready. Yeah. You get that superstar again. We'll play some music. I'm gonna try one, just natty. Okay. 
Yeah, evade, investigate, and resign would be awesome. However, and I don't have. <laughs> I can't investigate a six. <laughs> Oh, baby mamas, talk to your friends. That's a skull. I'll go ahead and heal a horror. Take a zero because Someone says, gym. don't forget you have minus one action. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have that one card. That, that was very relevant. But it didn't matter because the first time I tried it, it worked. So one action remains. Man, do you just take a crack at the man of thought? There's not even a way to succeed, actually. No? Nope. He's going to be a six because he's four plus two on the allocation. Or I could try to shoot a shriveling at him. But I again, think you should shoot, can you shoot a shriveling here? I can. Because that'll make me coming in in a minute. Yep. I'll just have to get one shot at him. I like that. So then I can probably shoot him and parlay with the man in the pallet mask next round. And he's my third action to resign. Okay. What Let's your, do this. What are your odds on shriveling? Or on, uh, on attacks? High? You have high odds, right? A I guess a four. Five. Not as high as we want, are they? Not without the beat cup. <laughs> it's a five. It's a five to a four. So this is not a guaranteed anything. But I have, next round I'll have multiple shots at it. Mm -hmm. Can you take the retaliate if you fail? The blob don't give us multiple shots. <laughs> I can make one fail. Or you can try to play that beat cop again. It's, it makes sense. Mm. Did you search him out with the no stone? I undid it. Okay. Because you got to go here, no stone, beat I, cop. I think I literally just go move, move, move. So I avoid when it spreads to here. Mm hmm. Okay. I see what you're saying. And then I'm just in the location. Yeah. So I may as well give it a shot here. Okay. So the question I have here is. If this goes really poorly, do I have an out? Because I don't like not having outs. Because I can either take a shriveling chance here, four to four, <clears throat> or I could take a shriveling chance with a dark prophecy to reveal five tokens and hopefully pull a skull. And that almost guarantees two damage. I could also save this in case we need to evade him next turn because I think it gives me the best odds. It's a tough, tough call. I don't think you save it and then we try to evade next round if you miss. Like, The only thing is, this is my last shriveling charge. At that point, I can no longer do two damage. The two damage ops are odds. It's either offense or defense, but I would go for it. I go, oh. I think I'll just play it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do six cents. It could backfire spectacularly, but we'll see. You need to engage first. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not hitting Carcosa, man. He's not aloof. I'm hitting the blob. There's three skulls in the bag, which is why this is a great test. Three skulls in the bag, one tentacle, and two tablets. So three bad things, three good things, and then if I don't hit any of those, likely I can pass it. And I do not have a retaliate. Got it already. And now I'm going to reveal more. Take the skull. Heal a horror. Thank you, Jim. Two damage on that bad boy? Yep. Oh, wait. I already exhausted this, so I don't get to heal a horror. And two damage on that bad boy, as you say. Yes, that's correct. OK. That's the end of my turn. All right. Mine? All yours. First yes. thing we're going to do is move. And I have to test four foot. I have a two <laughs> foot. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let's go ahead and may as well try, right? These cards are not going to get played. So I'm going to add two. So it's four to a four. Hoping for magic. Whew. I, I'm not going to use those cards. So Maybe it's, it's magic. Yeah. Sometimes. Minus one. Misses. Takes one and one. Mm, mm, mm. That would have been nice. <laughs> that would have been a nice bonus, yeah. Bonus yeah. round. Uh, then we'll move again. We'll take the same test. I'm at minus two. I don't think I, I don't can think that's pass. A way to win. I don't know what you're. There's yeah, the zero. Of course. Take Welcome one and one. And then last action, I'll move into the party. Yeah, after you leave. 
Okay, now we got the death stack here. Yep, so um, nothing happens to the enemies. He'll stand back up, stays at two, everything unexhausts as is customary. Draw a card, gain a resource. Deleted saying, hey, I just ordered the Power Rangers Tommy Oliver pack from your website. Wondering if it'll ship immediately because I'm confused since on Renegade's website it says it releases at the end of May. You'll definitely, uh, we usually ship within one business day. And right now because of COVID, uh, it might take a couple days if you literally just ordered it. But yeah, we have it and it's shipping. We all take a horror because of the Royal Emissary yep. ability. I have one left. We're riding the lightning here, bun. All right, one on. These are the cards that are going to ruin us. I'm certain of it. Go ahead. You're first. Oh, random. Yeah, it's the one where I discard two cards from my hand at random. Well, you I test wonder, brain. I wonder if that can take a weakness. So, you're a four. Mount of Demon play is three, yeah. The cards don't matter. As is, as is known. So if I have to discard random cards, do I have to just leave this weakness? It can take a weakness out if it's random. We'll roll the dice. Do you have a die? Yeah. So you don't have to sleep it. How many, what, how many cards? One to four is going to be this one. It's five to et cetera. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, dumped. Six, so it would have been the middle. Yeah. My fine clues. Okay, what's yours? Poltergeist. Mm-hmm. So we need to kill the Royal Emissary, and as long as you're attacking, the opportunity attacks won't happen. And this is gone. Resource card? <laughs> Resource card, yeah. Hmm, you can get a clue. Wouldn't that be handy? There are none. Would have been handy. Okay. Okay. Hidden cards can't be discarded? Okay. No, no. Hidden cards are different. Weaknesses can't be randomly discarded. Okay. Hidden cards can be. Okay, cool. All right. Um, well, you either got to do two damage or fail. Um, that's kind of what we're looking at here. We have no way to kill that poltergeist. I could parlay with him. Yeah, that's true. I've got a plus one with you. Now, the poltergeist, let's just ignore that that even matters. How do we do two damage to the Royal Emissary in the most effective way here? And just, if any of us miss, it's a retaliate too. So you can so take... I can shoot and miss once. Yeah. And I can shoot twice and die if I miss this both times. <laughs> yeah, shoot twice and die is the But that's a very, I mean, that feels like a Joe Diamond end. Um, mm. So I think I take my shot. Yeah, that beat That's cop. what it was. That's what it was. I knew I read it somewhere when you thought I was going crazy earlier. Mm -hmm. If this attack defeats an enemy, I can move an insight from my discard pile to the bottom of my mm. hunch deck. So I could have shuffled one in. Mm -hmm. And I, I would have shuffled to like, get rid of two horror. Card the one like prevent damage, damage card, yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's fine. I just I was like I couldn't find it on the card anymore, and it, it finally caught up to me. I think I take my shots. So the other things I can do is I can do the same that we've been doing. I can take two plus shots to evade, so that you don't take the retaliate damage. Mm. Um, can we start there? Mm-hmm. We could start there, but I'm gonna. Because if I shoot and miss, I hit you. Well, no, I don't think that massive doesn't work mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think. So then, do, do we have to engage with the man, the power master, to do the investigate? No. All right. We have to engage to fight him. Yes, that's correct. So I can try to evade royal emissary, evade royal emissary. But I mean, that's a waste of time if I just kill him. That's true. Like my odds of killing him are anything in your hand that puffs, buffs attacks. Puffs. Puffs uh, attacks. Well, I have the beat cop. That's plus one, probably, yeah? Yep. I wish that beat cop were out. I do too, but I didn't have time. Yeah. Oh, and this spreads. Yeah. I'm just going to do damage. Okay. 
The ooze. B Kai gives you plus one to the test? Mm hmm. He's probably your second test, right? Yeah. Try it once without him. Not that it really matters. I mean, I guess you may as well do the best test first. Yeah. Four to six? Four to six. Ugh, we really need a plus one for you somewhere. We're doing it. Garbage. Ready? I'm shooting. Hold on, I can't stand this. It's gotta be. It's just gotta be. Bring that Tony Zero's energy, man. Here we go. Bring the Zero's. Auto fail. Is that a tentacle? Tentacle. Oh my gosh, this this bag Sorry. has been really reckless. I today. take two. Now we got a decision to make. Yeah, we sure do, don't we? Because <laughs> I could shoot here, at a five to a three, and do two damage to it. The you I can't. It can't. Do it. No. So the royal emissary at this point, you just have to do two damage because then your third action is parlaying with man in the pallid mask, and I've got a plus one for you in my hand. That's the only way we get out of here. Because like even if you even if you do anything but what you're planning to do, I, I have no. Let's take a shot. I have no outs. Here comes Joe. Yeah, Joe's probably gonna die here. Sorry, buddy. I think we're all getting swallowed up in this one. It's a hell of a way to kick it off here. Five to four. <laughs> Minus three with a skull. Oh god, it was so close. <laughs> all right, I die. So I gotta try to punch this thing what twice. This thing? I think it comes to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good, good news, good news. What's my out? Kill the emissary, punch twice. Punch twice and then uh, try to pallet mask it. Maybe. Let's face it, this game is over. <laughs> you gotta try though. I think you gotta try, yeah. Man, it's a shame you didn't have four. I was thinking to play that beat cop. Because then you could play the beat cop, mm -hmm. discard for one, but doing one doesn't matter that much. Uh, okay, yeah, at the out is gonna be the body bag. That's hilarious. <clears throat> I've got a, okay, so I could also evade, engage, move. Then it would be a four test to my three. Don't forget about this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, this is a problem. This is all a big problem. <laughs> Play your outs, right? That's all you gotta do. I have no way to win here, actually. I wonder if we'll still get this victory, though. All right, let me think about if there is actually any outs here. Yeah, I'm with St Steven here on the chat saying, uh, the lesson here is don't delve too early. <laughs> that, was, that was a rough turning point. Yeah, we both your enemies. Yeah. We'll get that experience. It'll feel good. Um, I'm going to try to evade Royal Emissary. See if it would have worked. You know it. Mm. You needed that zero, bruh. Mm -hmm. I probably should have started with that, huh? Well, if I kill it, then you, then you don't waste your time. Yeah. Second action. Uh, I could try in the poltergeist. I could engage the man in the pallid mask. Move, take three. Then take another one. Oh no, and that's gonna die immediately. Um, second action. Yeah, I don't mind that actually. Hold on. So then I'll take one, two, three. I'd have to do four. My fight is a three. There's like no world where that actually happens, right? Is there any way to defeat that guy? Get drawn to the shriveling. Well. 
Spell, Relic, or Encounter cards. I have none of those. Oh, sure. We'll try to do it again. Second action, let's talk to this poltergeist. Three buck to with, three buck? With the old parlay, yeah. All right. Three to three. Could I get like... rid of him. Huh? Uh, I said could get rid of him. Yeah. No. Try it again? Yeah, I'll try it again. I think I probably just try to churn it, and then that's minus four, and then I take horror or something. Uh, is at least... Maybe the location has no horror on it. Place one horror on it instead. All right. Put the horror on there. On that baby. Boom. All right. Then you go insane, eh? Two horror. I got plenty. He doesn't do anything to me because he's aloof. Mm. Stand up. Be a good card. Okay, that's not a bad card. Gain of money. Advance. Uh, Zach's saying the best option is to cut your losses and resign. We can't resign if the Pallid Mask guy is there. That's right. That's our out. We have to get him off the table. <laughs> this is a hilarious card right now. Can't commit skull cards. <laughs> Great. Cool. Okay, and then uh, oh, I take one more horror for the bag man. There you go. I don't need mine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, seven to eight. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And then, so I would do, cannot commit. This whispers in your head says, cannot commit skill cards to skill tests, but I can commit normal cards to skill tests, I reckon. So I can get a plus two to that. I can go to five. The only thing that would save me is a superstar here. Well, sometimes you gotta live the dream. You isn't, know that, I mean? isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? So let's start with trying to evade this guy. As is customary. Fail. Try it a second time. Who are you evading? The Royal Emissary. I can't try that investigate on the man mm. on mask until I evade him. There it is. Did it. All right, we got one moon shot, Zach. But that just gets rid of him. We still have to have an action to resign. Yeah, but at least we at least we got know, him off the table. We got him off the table. So if I get, let's see, three, four, five. <laughs> David Whitfield says the stranger removes his mask to reveal Ultron grinning at you and chuckling. <laughs> All right, let's just see if it would matter. Premonition won't, so it's got to be a skill check. What are you doing with these? I'm trying to investigate the old man in the pallid mask. I'll take that attack of opportunity and die immediately. But, you know. Why not? So is life. Hey, I got a zero. Still wouldn't succeed. All right, it's over. Our heroes were defeated. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. So what happens there? Weave me a tail. Well, we've got to read. But did I... I take a trauma, right? Do I... Yeah, we'll both take a trauma. I'll see... Let's see. How do I want to die, though, is the question. Oh, God, I'll take a mental trauma. No. So, wait. I want to do that differently, then, because none of it's going to matter. You just don't exhaust him and run. Yeah, you just take a move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he kills you. Because I, I want the physical trauma, I think. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, it's just too much. All right. I took a physical trauma. Okay, let's see how we resolve this, baby. We could have won that. Yeah. I blame myself. I I like free will and Jim Culver delving too deep, though, at yeah. the same time. I, I think, it just practically speaking, if you had just held on to delve too deep. Well, yeah. Until the you and I both know that now. Yeah. <laughs> but wh why would you ever play that early? Uh, basically because, like, there was no other meaningful action to be done to advance mm. the win condition. So I was over here puttering around doing nothing. You were over there trying to work the Pallid Mask Man, and singing Opera Man hadn't come out yet. Yeah. So it was like, well, this is, I've got actions with nothing to do. This is a fine so time. So I may as well just yeah. delve. Uh, okay, if no resolution was reached, once again you're startled awake, this time by the cold, clammy fingers of a hand on your shoulder. Are you all right? 
an elderly man asks, helping you to your feet. Your mind is a flurry of memories. Last year, remember, the Ward Theater had become a place of nightmares filled with dangerous fanatics and strange terrors. Worried, you glance at your surroundings only to find yourself on the rain-slicked curb outside the theater. Despite the events from earlier, the city seems normal to your eyes, or at least what passes as normal for Arkham. The bright glare of headlights... Let's go. We'll zoom out. You can see us in all of our glory. Uh, the bright glare of headlights drills into your eyes as cars pass on the street, splashing dirty rainwater onto the sidewalk beside you. The old man wears an expression of concern, noting the terror in your eyes. Were you mugged? Damn those trouble boys, he exclaims. Dry gulching folk on a night out to the the theatea. The theatea. Not a single street those hooligans haven't stacked a claim on, I tell you. You stand and walk over to the front window of the Ward Theater to tentatively peer through, but it's too dark to see anything inside. The elderly man eyes you curiously for a moment, then shrugs and continues. Well, I'd best be on my way. I'd do the same if I were you, he says, rounding the street corner. You quickly follow, hoping to warn him to stay away from the theater, but when you turn the corner, it's not the elderly man you see, but the familiar sight of the stranger in his featherless, pallid mask. That's creepy. His unwavering <laughs> gaze bears down upon you. Who are you? You call out. The stranger does not respond, but instead turns and disappears into the alleyway behind the theater. You give chase, hoping for answers, but by the time you reach the alleyway, it's empty, save for a notice on the wall near the theater's employee entrance. Don't be a wet blanket. Come to the King in Yellow cast party, 8 p.m. at the home of Constance Dumain, 1452 Atlantic Avenue, formal dress only. You tear the notice from the wall and take it with you, frustrated and lost. In your campaign log, record. Hold on, where's my campaign log? That's it. It's among the detritus. <laughs> it's somewhere. There it is. I love that thing. Fought in me, boys. <laughs> the campaign log is back. A time with secrets. Unlike any you've ever seen. Okay. The stranger is on to you. Good luck proving it, right? Oh, kind of wrong. The stranger is on to us. I don't know why. We didn't do anything. We just talked to him once. Uh, put the man in the pod mask weakness in the lead investigator's deck. That's going to be me. Uh, where is he? This old, this old boy. I feel like Jim. Jim has earned that. Oh boy. Uh, Anytime the bearer of the man in the thaw mask leaves the campaign for any reason, choose a new investigator to become the bearer, so it's always going to be in the game. Under chasing the stranger, place one tally mark for each time the man in the pod mask was defeated. Okay, so we've got chasing. We got zero times. We defeated him once, right? At the very beginning. And then he came back out when we flipped. You talked to him here. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, for the remainder of the campaign, keep a running tally of the number of times he's defeated during a game. Each tally will bring you one step closer to the truth. Okay, so we need to defeat him as much as we can. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory of each card in the victory display. One victory. Two victory. Three, four victory? Three, four. Earned it the hard oh, way. Wait. Five. Five victory. XP. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't done tally marks in a long time. <laughs> okay, done. Uh, be gone. All right, great. So next time, right? So next Friday, Freaky Friday. as they Scenario start. number two. Scenario two, we'll have five experience. So we'll spin that first, we'll update our decks, and then we'll dive into that scenario. And, and uh, my first spell is at minus two. Because <laughs> of your thing? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so really I think good. I'm going to spend, I'm going to get some shriveling going. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, I'm going to have to look online this weekend. That was great. Uh, this is proof to me that I can have fun losing at this game. It's a good way to lose, right? Like, I, that's really what I was doing there. I have, I have no qualms with playing in character, having a good time, and then like <laughs> not completing it or finishing, you know? Yeah. Like, and I like that it's like there's basically different resolutions based on how far you get. Uh, so I thought that was great. How'd you like uh, Joe? I like Joe a lot. Um, I think I have a better appreciation now of like how he's functioning, um, and 
it's just cool getting to see these characters play these different scenarios. And what you want the hunch deck to be? So you might pull some different insights? Yeah, I, I thought the hunches were mostly fine. Even the one that's like, because once there's enemies on you, it's just a free cancel. And I think that's totally fine too. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm totally happy with that. I think his gun is really good, being able to get those insights back into the deck. Um, I was surprised that everything was at a four difficulty. That's a little higher than I would expect from most of the uh, most of the things in the game. Now, the thing we weren't doing that we could have is like engage the man in the pallid mask early, and then like move backstage and then the rehearsal room, so it's only a three to test. Mm. But you take you take one sanity every time you do that. And that's yeah. kind of his mechanic, but that makes a lot of sense. But I, I think that's also where the moment where we got hunter and prey wrong. Mm -hmm. um, if, if I could rewind time and go back, because it was here. Mm -hmm. If you had come here instead, yeah. and he comes to you, yeah. it would have been 10, because I, I would have moved right here, I would have taken two less. Yeah, 100%. And I could have shot him the first turn I had it. So like... Th there you go. That, that, one one that moment. Alone. So that, and then also moments. I think the, the turn, obviously, that he delved too deep. Um, if you had uh, gotten rid of your, whatever this thing is, hypochondria, with your last two actions instead. Yeah, even though that really, that wasn't what did it. Well, Which like is, the 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 enemy that I got for me at least slowed me down one turn as well. So like if you'd been here and I hadn't had that enemy yet, I think we were actually way ahead of the curve. Yeah, we were way and ahead. Then, That's why I delved. Yeah. All right, see you guys. I'll uh, get us out of here. Freaky Friday. I'm gonna go home and and sleep. Sleepy Friday. Hey, it was great. I uh, loved having everyone here. The chat was amazing helping us deck build. And we'll be back next week playing more Kirkosa. So stay tuned. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And if you want, check us out on Monday for Marvel Champions.